is um dragon quest let me turn up the volume a bit come on let's sneak out again it's so quiet this is the dragon quest treasures treasure. they're going to be partying all night they won't even know we've snuck off <laughs> <laughs> I'm of course playing on the Nintendo Switch for this one. I'll be up on the deck. And don't give the game away. Got it? Yeah. Royal Martin says, hey Janet, uh, chat, happy weekend and whatnot. Said here about your night. Yeah, um, ask away. Um, I did go to the Game Awards last night, which I'm happy to talk more about. Um, it was awesome. It was super fun being there in person. Like, there was just kind of a different energy to the whole thing yeah i'm back i the stream cut out for a second i had to re reset it um i think it's good now and also i'm shiny i'm like always a little shiny hey we're back yeah what's up over solar good to see you oof but yeah ask away if you have any questions i mean it we got there i did i got to go to the xbox mixer which was fun um always cool to be like involved in stuff like that uh, that Isaiah could not come to. Uh, it was pretty much industry only and invite only. Um, we didn't have space to accommodate more people. So, ooh, is this what you played at the SE thing? Ooh, I think so. What do you mean, S oh, Square Enix. Yes, I was gonna mention that. Um, so I previewed this game um, along with Price's Core. And, oh my God, I'm blanking on it. Oh man. Like, what are their, their other game that was Star Ocean? Thank you, Played for, for being more on it than I am. Uh, let's see the people you and Bless. Brother and sister vibes. Yeah, I love hanging out with Bless. It's so fun to, like, roll with the kind of funny PS I Love You crew outside of our usual stuff. Oh my gosh, I want. It's so dark, I feel like, without these little, like, backlights. It just helps break it up so much more, but I'm so sick of putting these on because I feel like I'm not satisfied. There we go. If you need a personal assistant. Um, any freebies in the show that make us jealous? No, we, like, not really at all. Um, yeah, like, literally nothing was free. Like, the parking was free. I, I could get free parking through the Xbox um, mixer if I wanted to. Oh, I didn't know that was here. It's Mia's notebook, Tales of Treasure, is written on the cover. Uh, we just ended up parking somewhere else because I, I didn't want to deal with having to talk to anyone about parking which is fair. And also to not have to repark at the end of the night. Um, okay, me and Eric snuck out one of our little boats again tonight. We found a cave and inside was the prettiest stone I ever saw. It was a nice rock for sure, but I wouldn't call it treasure. I've got a funny feeling that next time we sneak off the trip, we'll find a proper treasure. The one we've been searching for. Um, I actually have never played a Dragon Quest game too, uh, which this one will be interesting. Um, I did play some of this during my preview, so it'll take a while for me to hit like new content. It's a chest full of Viking treasure. Eric knows better than to try and open it. He's so small. Instead, he looks forward to the day when he and Mia have a treasure of their own. Um, but yeah, it was fun, like, seeing everybody. Um, you know, I got to see folks like... The Vikings must have brought this back from a raid at some point. Um, some of the What's Good Games people were there. I saw, like, Brittany. I saw Rihanna. Danny Pena. Um, Kit and Krista were really fun to see because I've been following their content for some time. Um, I saw Steve Saylor, the icon himself. Um, who else? Who else? Like Townsend, like, gosh, who else? Just a bunch of people. Um, a lot of people that I, I knew online but didn't know otherwise. Can I go up here into this little hole? Let me get in here. Not gonna lie, it's like a little bit of a mountain goat moment to get into this area. Um, thank you for the follow. It's a map of the world. Eric imagines all the exciting places are discovered. So, spoilers for my thoughts on this game. Because like I said, I played a little bit at the beginning during my the preview. It's cute. I don't know if there's like enough there to make it super compelling, but I was intrigued by what was what the start was. Gahaha, look. If it isn't young Eric, our very own little magpie. How long has it been since we took you and Mia on board? Must be a fair old while already. Still, I bet you're glad we did, though, eh? A steady job on a Viking's longship? You must be the luckiest pair of orphans in the world. Uh, what was that? You're going to find a new treasure that'll make you rich enough to get off the ship? Gah, fat chance of that. Tell me how much treasure you've found so far. I'm gonna say none. I like their little music. 
Oh, of course, treasure hunting is not for little runs. Like, you leave it to the experts. You can see. Anyway, you can see we're having a feast in here tonight, and we don't want some scuffy younglings spoiling the mood. So go back to your room and get in bed. Get some sleep. Because we certainly won't be. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's a little creepy. <laughs> I mean, I think they're just partying, but Mia must have found some other way to get up to the deck. Better try searching for another route. Okay, cool. Tutorial moments. Um, hobbies. Oh, hobbies are still is a great name, by the way. Was it strange to have that Xbox had a pre-party, but then wasn't very involved with the show? No, not really. I feel like the vibe I get from having gotten to know some of the Xbox people and like I got to have like dinner with them for during PAX, like they had a creator dinner. I think whenever they're at an event, um, which, you know, you imagine they're at kind of any of the big industry stuff, they seem to really like to... Um, just in, I like the little emojis. Um, you know, reach out to the community and like create a space for people to get together. I think that also makes sense because it fits in super well with like their ethos, right? Um, El Jojo Mojo. Thank you for the sub. You know, it's very much like a kumbaya. We're all here together having fun, playing games. Like that is what they sell alongside game pass and that's kind of like the selling point of game pass like oh we're trying out different games like we're all hanging now you can subscribe you're in this community um but to their point like they i feel like they do that and all their stuff like their marketing and their brand and and how they their attitude and how they approach the space all lines up with that yeah steve has to sit in front of reggie which was really cool he was super excited about that he didn't notice until way later <laughs> it was like someone should just squeeze through here while crouching okay what's the crouch it's the l stick okay um, I will say graphically, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Um, the art direction helps a lot with that. You know, the harsh kind of thick lines um, outlining the characters. That's when I caught them. First, a cat and a pig. Thought they were monsters at first, but they were tame enough. Must be rare. And you know what that means. Ha, I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. We're going to be rich. So, where are they now? Locked up somewhere safe, I hope. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. They're in a cage hanging from the mast. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> He's so small. Or is everything really big? Um, did they say what happened with that kid that got on stage for the last award? Yeah, um, he did get arrested. Now, I don't think he's like being held or anything because he's a kid. Um, and I don't know the legality of all that stuff, but like they got him. They like, you know, dealt with him to the degree that they could. Well, if it isn't the fashionista herself, what's up, Void? How's it going? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, Silent had responded to that, too. Hilarious to see Minmax react to the crash at the end. Um, yeah, they told me afterwards that they kept joking that I would rush the stage, which I feel like that aged, like, really awkwardly in some senses. <laughs> um, in, like, three years, I'll be there in person, but I need to move again and get a better job in the industry first. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, the people that flew out, like... It can be expensive to go to stuff like this, even for myself, like where obviously I live here, so I didn't have to fly, which was great. Didn't have to pay for hotel stay, but like we had to get outfits. You know, you have drinks while you're there. Like the Xbox makes you have free drinks, but like afterwards at the bar, if you want to hang out with people, then you got to eat. And then it's like and I spent all this money on makeup. Like it was it was an investment. It was like a whole thing. Um, and yeah, Jason did have talked to the kid a little bit more for some more information. We talked about it a bit on uh, Min Max, too, and I think that episode was live to tape like it's live now i think eric can't make headers or tails yeah it's live now because i ben tweeted about it like a few hours ago um but the event was super fun it was interesting because when i was there i'm like oh my gosh is this the best game awards there's been in like a while or is it just because i'm here and i'm like caught up in the the pageantry of it all but no i mean i think it it really had some strong announcements uh again it's it's a little weird that this award show is really like a pseudo showcase um just because i feel like it is kind of double dipping on the event and i think it does make the awards always a smidge of an afterthought in a lot of senses but at the same time the fact that it does have the announcements is what drives i think more viewership than if it was more of a formal award show and obviously you want entertainment at award show right like the grammys has like their musical performances and their little collabs and things let's talk to this guy so, yeah, Eric, I just saw young Mia heading up to the deck. I was surprised to see her on her own. I thought you two were joined at the hip. My sister! Mi hermana. Alright. Eric. Eric. 
You took your time. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Just kidding. You know, oh. Just kidding, you know. <laughs> actually, I don't know why I changed her. I mean, she's young. They're both young. You know, I can't wait to find treasure of our own. Those Vikings would never make fun of us again. And maybe tonight's the night. Just imagine the look on those gormless faces if we brought back something really cool. Hold on, no one saw you sneaking up here, did they? Uh... Are you serious? Well, never mind. They've probably forgotten about it already. Now I'm trying to impersonate that voice. Oh, the Toad Redemption. Um, I did not meet Ken and Roberta Williams. Um, said it was a great show, but I wish Jeff would present the two indie awards on stage. Yeah, for sure. I think I definitely would love to see more stage awards. Um, I moved to Nintendo PAX this year, and I'm like, nah, I'm not going to the Game Awards. But oh yeah. Like, I'm thinking about doing PAX East, and I'm like, oh my god, it's in a few months, and I don't have the money saved up for it. Um, a series not afraid to use the word gormless. Yeah, I'm not actually familiar. If anyone has the, um... Have we talked about Chris already? Like, Chris Pratt? If, th if so, the answer is no. Did I have a favorite moment? Um, favorite moment's tough. Mm, did I have a favorite moment? I... I mean, I did really like the Horizon thing, even though it's DLC, and y'all know how I feel about DLC, but for Horizon, I'll do whatever. Uh, the Celeste thing was cool. Like, a couple things here and there. Um, yeah, the... I'm trying to think if there's something that was, like, my absolute favorite thing to have seen. Those are the ones that come to mind. Um, Hades 2, even though I only play a little bit of Hades 1. I, I do wish we had more stories from devs and highlighting like the games industry a little bit more thoroughly in terms of like the work it takes to um make these games like even just beyond the speeches that's one thing i did like about christopher judge's speech i know everyone's like oh my god it was so long and i think it was like nine or 12 minutes i heard um when i was there it didn't feel that long but even from that we got a really nice gem of him and maybe he said it before and i just never heard it but him saying oh like if i knew this was a video game i was auditioning for i i probably never would have auditioned like i just didn't really care about kind of well he didn't say he didn't care about games but at the time but it's like that clearly wasn't in his wheelhouse and it wasn't something he was aspiring to do so um or even the little thing of when i heard Corey was gonna direct this one i was like eric williams better bring that heat or however he phrased it it's like oh and then he did like he was that dude and yeah, there's just something, like, so nice and genuine and fun about that. Obviously, maybe the Christopher Judge wasn't going to do a video game that could be, like, pulled out for a headline in terms of, like, getting clicks in the SEO and, like, the nature of so many, um, I don't know I'm going along on this, but I, I just want to, like, flesh this out before I continue with gameplay. The nature of so many interviews that we do in the industry is oriented towards something that the audience is going to care to kind of click on. And that's not to say that that journalistic work is lesser for that reason, but you're trying to find that, that good angle, right? What's going to be exciting to people? What do people want to know about? And you're trying to get answers to those like kind of burning questions, uh, which will in turn also drive traffic. So it, they kind of go hand in hand in a way that's fairly convenient, I would say. Um, but I think the thing that gets lost in that a little bit and why I encourage folks to, you know, if you're curious about stuff, read interviews in their entirety. Obviously, different outlets do different things. Some people contextualize and break out interviews. I personally like doing both and having one that's just straight up the script, which maybe I should have done that now. I'm thinking about it for, like, the interviews I've done so far. Mental note. Might do that later. Because there's something so fun about, like, the raw interview dialogue because you get these little stories that, sure, maybe they won't move the needle on how we think of a game or how we think of a creator or maybe it's not really a burning question, but I just find those to be, like, such fun little tidbits, and I like that we got that in his speech. But, yes, obviously I realize that n not everyone can take 8 to 12 minutes to talk about to talk on stage when they get an award. It's just not feasible, especially with a show being so long. So definitely don't think it's bad to want to move things along. But there's so much stuff um, that can come from that of when you're more laid back and it's less scripted and you can kind of be yourself a little bit. Um, I think that's what's so fun about it. Uh, awards is great in person. Uh, I lost my mind when I realized Supergiant's games was his sequel. It was very cool. I love what the orchestra tried to play him off and the music just ended up making the speech more epic um i definitely thought like for the playoff music that they uh the way ben described it is like they must have been burning a cd of music and they had it ready now for the rest of them and i don't know the behind the scenes but that did feel true Ooh, and something that i kind of had fun with was looking at the teleprompter every now and then to see like are you reading straight from it what parts are ad-libbed 
Um, I don't have any like really fun insights on that because I didn't write down things and I wasn't doing that the entire time, but it was kind of like interesting to see, oh, this is like meant to seem casual, but like obviously it's very like scripted or like this part wasn't scripted and they just felt like saying this or adding this. Uh, that was kind of cool, like that inside baseball stuff of how the show operates. Um, the boat's already. Maybe we can check out one of those little islands. Oh yeah, the tow thing. Hold on. What is that? How, how long is that tow thing? It's like two minutes, a minute? Let me double check how long that is because I don't remember anymore. It's been so long. Oops. I just want to read it. I know I can't redeem it. Oh God, does anyone remember? I think three minutes because we used to do five and we all agreed five was way too long and was actually kind of actively painful for everyone involved. Um, Oh yeah, the more Steam decks. Um, did you try? I have not tried the Forspoken demo. I'm not sure where it fits into content or if I want to just wait, you know? Um, and then real quick, even being excited for it, didn't expect Armored Core Cinematic. Um, yeah, people people really popped for Armored Core. It's very cool for to see your fans react to that. All right. Huh? <laughs> what was that? Oh. Those must be the strange creatures I heard the Vikings talking about. Poor things. Yeah, if you, if you try the Forspoken demo, definitely let, say it in the chat. Like, what you thought of it so far? I know. I want to say, I don't know if it was The Verge or it was Polygon. I think it was The Verge. They had written an impressions article about it saying that there's like some interesting stuff, but that's underneath a generic RPG construction. And honestly, that sounds. Like, I, I believe that from the stuff I've seen of the game so far, but it's cool to hear their, like, hands-on impressions of it. Um, I'm going to meet a person who won a Steam Deck away the same way they try to meet the person who won the bottle cap at McDonald's. I did see that someone named Milf Hunter won the Steam Deck, so congratulations to that user. Uh, Mia says, we can't just leave them locked up like that. Come on, let's set them free. Hmm. We're not going to be able to climb them there. But I, but I bet... You could knock out of the cage with these. Huh. Eric receives ten pebbles from Mia. Pebble, a catapult. Pe <laughs> a catapult pedal. <laughs> a catapult pellet that inflicts very minor impact damage on a single enemy. Wow! 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 You can use the catapult to shoot pebbles and pellets. Hold on. Hold down ZR. To pull back the bucket. Line up your shot with R. And then let go with ZR to shoot. I don't know why I made him kind of a country for a second. Hold on. When you get a bullet is drawn, press Y to change which pellet you shoot. There's a perfect pellet for every situation. So choose wisely. It's hard not to dip into Iago ya doing this uh, toad voice. With ZR held down, or the, okay, look, I think we can just figure it out. You know, we'll sense it. We'll sense it at this point. I don't want to read any more of the screens. Okay. So, yep. Wait, should I not be over here? I should be over here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Should I change pellets? Do I even have pellets to change into? I think these are my only pellets. Okay, yeah, we did it. I wasn't really into for in combat. Unfortunately, the Game Awards trailer did get me happy, though. That's cool to hear. Um, yeah, anyone ever win a Steam Deck last night? Are you doing all right? Aww. Imagine being cooped up like that, left dangling from a mass. It's just horrible. It's horrible. Oh, they really are unusual, though. I've never seen anything like them before. Ah! Okay, that's three minutes. Oh, these things are freaking adorable. This is definitely something that start, started to sell me on this game. These little creatures right here. Hey, cut that out. Haven't you noticed? You're free now. Um, meow, meow, meow. Meow. So cute. Look at these little buddies. Wink. I get it. They want us to follow them. Maybe they're going to reward us by showing us where the good treasure is hidden. There's no harm in dreaming, right? After all, I think it's possible. Let's go. Right, let's get moving. Those funny creatures won't hang around forever, you know. 
Um, Platform Fanatic says, I tried it. I uh, did not enjoy the controls of the demo, but maybe it would be better starting from the beginning than dropped in the middle of a bunch of- with a bunch of abilities. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. All ready to set sail? Uh, sure! Okay, then off we go! Mushroom Kingdom, here I come! <laughs> I couldn't help it. Welcome to move around. I want to be more naturally introduced to the systems. Okay. It is nice that some of it is um, voice acted. But yeah, I I like so far. Like I've liked this as like a cute adventure. Between two lads, you know. That was a close one. Now let the adventure begin. There's trash out there. I just know there is. There has to be. There just has to be. Okay, so we definitely got the load. Oh, load time's not that bad though. Is anything more frustrating than when you go to like do that on Switch, like take a screenshot and they say, um, you can't? Because I was really worried that would happen to me. I love these guys. They're just two cute little babies. <laughs> What's up, Unix Technique? How's it going? My screenshots become corrupt over time. I've accidentally... I have many accidental screenshots for myself and other people playing. Oh, definitely on the Joy-Con. The Pro Controller, it's a lot easier to avoid. The screenshot button, which is what I'm currently playing on. Since when was there an island around here? Wait. Oh, I thought that was something. It's like a piece of grass. This is so exciting. They're so cute, they're little friends. Hey, come come okay. Thank you for the um the sub. Love a good adventure with some lads. They're just two lads. Seriously? A dead end, seriously, there must be someone to open the door. Oh, I got you. I got you. My years of puzzle solving. Hey, we're just playing Fortnite. I realized I wasn't seeing the new Unreal Engine because 120 FPS mo mode turns them off. I switched to 60 and the graphics look really nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's really cool. I did see a bit of that. Digital Foundry just dropped um, a kind of deep dive into the different uh, updates to Fortnite. Anyone know offhand, like, what does this mean on console, though? Because I play on console for Fortnite. Um, hmm, I guess it only works if you're standing in the right place. Not that I'm looking for high fidel- like, higher fidelity in Fortnite. Like, it already looks really good, so I'm not too... ...pressed. You stay on the Switch, and I'll go on the other side. Also, you know, it's funny, because... ...obviously I already knew all the nominees before Game Awards Night, but... ...seeing Plague Tale over and over again, I'm like, should I be playing this game? You know, I'm wondering now. I was like, maybe I, maybe I should have played this. I mean, there's still time. Uh, Minmax's recordings happen, I think, in about a week or a week and a half. Maybe like 10 days from now, I think we're gonna start recording our uh, end of the year stuff. Yeah, me too. But then at certain points, maybe I should just jump into a second. I have so many firsts that I haven't been in so many different franchises. We did it, Mia. Look over there. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I can open my new drink up. Looks like two daggers. I smell treasure. I bet those are worth a fortune. What are these like ten-year-old kids gonna do with this fortune? The cat and pig must have known about this place. I wonder what the deal is with them. Well, let's worry about that later. First thing, let's get those daggers. There's two of them, so that I make that one each. Come on. That's some that's some fast math right there. Huh. 
But yeah, I haven't done much Dragon Quest in general. I've done like a smidge of builders, which I hear is really good, actually. So I'm like, maybe this will be like, you know, my Dragon Quest moment. Kind of a, not a weird entry point, but you know, a spinoff is always uh, a little bit of a funky way to enter a series, but. Ow, ow, ow. Or a franchise, rather. Oh, they're so cute. Them. We got them all right. Treasure. <laughs> can speak? Of course I can. You two just couldn't understand me before. That's the power of the daggers. The power of the daggers. Also, let me know if it's too, uh, quiet or loud. I'll be taking the girl. Hey! I thought we agreed no magazines. More loud than quiet, because I don't think I can... I was going to re the reason the volume would be a little rough. Well there, who even are you guys? They're a bit on the young side, aren't they? You really think this is them? The legendary I think this is just a spin-off. Well, I don't think it's listed as a prequel, but out. I'd have to check. What is this all about? Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! What is that? Actually, uh, according to the first thing on Google, it says that this is uh, a prequel. It says, is Dragon Quest Treasure, this comes from guidefall.com, is Dragon Quest Treasure a Dragon Quest 9? Wait, she was at, or is that 11? 11, I think, right? Prequel? Dragon Quest Treasures isn't just a spinoff featuring the characters from Dragon Quest that's 11, right? Like, <laughs> um, but instead a true prequel, the events of the game take place long before Eric and Mia cross paths with the Luminary. It's one of those things where I was like, oh man, I don't read Roman numerals that often. It's, it's getting a little dicey. I'm like, this is either definitely nine or definitely 11. The original Dragon Warrior has been on my top five since I was a kid. I didn't realize any of the Dragon Quest games related. I am not surprised to hear that, but I wasn't quite sure how they worked. Or like if they really interconnected to a larger narrative. Yes. Because when I saw it, I was like, wait, no, 10 and then 11, right? Like, that, that has to be how you read that. Anyway, we got to figure it out. So, yeah, apparently, thank you for asking that question, because I actually didn't know that it was a prequel. Um, it seems somehow to have traveled with her through the portal. Of course, we're going to pull the dagger out of the ground. What else would we do? What else is there to do? Cute. Curious powers have swell inside her. Now where could Eric have gotten to? Better get out of here and start looking for him. Uh, what about y'all? What's your history with uh, the Dragon Quest franchise? And like, are y'all gonna play this game? Is this on your radar? This is one I kind of forgot was coming out until I did that preview when I um, had done a couple previews uh, with uh, Square Enix. And was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is cool. I mean, there's combat in this game, but I like the kind of, um, more zen pitch of it. It's like, oh, we're looking for treasures, and we're, like, gonna be, like, collecting stuff. I mean, a fair attempt. This lock is huge. Why is she so small? I know they're kids, but, like, they're so tiny. Gates padlock shut. Must be a way to get it open. The pink slime appears to be in the spot. Huh? Or no to spot? Oh. What's with the sand? The sand? I got my last stadia refund today. Ah, uh, end of an era. 
She seems to be looking around agitatedly. It's like almost as though she's looking for something. Ooh, I don't like that. All the slurp sounds. Could she have lost something once Mia to help find it? Ooh, Isabella, the cutie slime, joins the party. Ooh, yay! We got friends. <gasps> okay. All right, we got two, like, li oh, those lily pads? Yeah, right. And then next there, okay, Mia saw Isabella's last vision. Seems she had a vision showing her something that Isabella had seen. Could have something to do with the dagger. Use the vision. Mia just had to find Isabella's lost item. When you get close to some hidden loot, your monsters will have treasure visions that show you where the valuables are. To view the visions and cycle between them, hold L and press B. Where the visions surround new landscape. Okay. Okay, I like that it's at least in the corner all the time. So definitely by the waterfalls to some degree. Here's one. There's two. It could be around here. Oh yay, okay. Digging with a dagger. Bold strategy. Hey Jay, I'm not sure you talked about it, but how were the awards last night? Uh, they were cool. If you have uh, more specific questions, happy to answer them. Uh, oh, I have to keep holding. Oh, that makes more sense. Um, oh, it says press and hold, which that's fair. I didn't really read that, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it was really cool. You know, there was a, definitely a bigger energy to being in person, hearing people like clap and applaud like these different games. And you kind of got like a sense of like of the room, which of course was mixed company of like devs and media and fans, like what people were excited for or what have you. Okay. A sparkling gem of a kind much sought after amongst the slimes. The surprised possession of Isabella. Let's see, Mia has found Isabella's treasured item. Isabella is absolutely delighted. Um, and it was fun seeing everybody. Um, it's like interesting. I'm like, oh, I guess I like know a good amount of people in this industry at this point, which is kind of nice. Um, and it's cool to see them in, in person and not just online. And it looks like she might well help Mia get out. By the way, head over to the padlock gate with Isabella. So I'm curious too, a unique technique if you're here um, with like the Stadia refund, like was Stadia just kind of playing a role? In, like what role was it playing in your gaming? Is anything filling that gap? Is it, Were you kind of just like trying it out to try it out and it didn't really have like a direct function? And that's kind of the things that I find most interesting about it kind of, you know, collapsing. Where in LA was it? The stage looked huge. It was the Microsoft Theater. Uh, downtown LA Microsoft Theater. Isabella has smashed the gate open. Oh, this is seriously shady. Admiral Mogsworth is not going to be happy. Yeah. We'll not rest until every last bit of it belongs to us. When we are done with this place, not a shine a single shiny scrap will be left unpillaged, not a lick of loot and plundered. And who are we, you ask? Why the most feared pirates of them all? Silver Bones's thunderous plunders plunderers. I am Admiral Maxwell. Okay. I don't like that he's all like. Ugh. Welcome to our crew. Oh. Um, bum, bum. Most of the time, my main connection wasn't fast enough to really use it to full potential. Mostly got games on sale to have a few, even if it got fast. If I ever got faster in it, nice. Um, I mean, it was nice until it died, but you know, you, you get where I'm coming from. Oh ho! But I'm forgetting that you've. 
you've just awoken. I'll warrant you haven't got the foggiest idea of where you are. They got some tunes. They definitely got some tunes. Well, let me fill you in on some details. We chanced upon you here in the Patternoggin, deep in slumber in the middle of the woods. I've never been one to ignore a damsel in distress, so I ordered my crew to bring you here right away. Now that you're up and about, I trust you'll make yourself at home. You are perfectly safe here, I assure you. Uh, where am I? Good question. This here is my where my trusty crew and I have set up camp. From here, we scour the Paternoggin for its precious treasures. Oh, this game looks fun. It's chill so far. Hey, Urban coming through with a sub. 30 months. Yeah. One of the OGs. How's it going? Appreciate the emo drop. Um, yeah, it's a slow start right now. As I've mentioned a couple times, uh, I did preview this at the uh, Square Enix preview event a couple months ago, along with Crisis Core and Star Ocean. Um, I enjoyed my time that I had played with it. I, I think I only did like maybe an hour or two. I'm hoping that um, there's only a treasure we're present for it to the end. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll kind of skip a little bit of this just because maybe share my spoils with you just for sake of time. Because I would love to get a little further than I did when I played at the preview event, but. I don't know how many hours or how like long time wise that was. But once I do get past that, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know. It's definitely a slow start, but the there's like a, a simplicity, like a kind of coziness to it that I think could really hit for me. So we're gonna see if this ends up being something I wanna follow through with. We are getting to the end of the year, so it's, it's pretty wild. Um, how there's still games kind of coming out, but it's like we're all kind of packing up, I think, and heading into 2023. Welcome to our humble camp. No West for the Wicked. Let me tell you, Lassie, this island's packed to the gunnels with treasure. Tis a dream come true for lifelong looters ourselves. Okay. I guess these are just like people hanging out. You can rest at a campfire. Ooh. Restore your HP and MP. Sure, I'll rest. I'll take, I'll take a little rest, take a little nappy nap. Dun, 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 dun. Can I just... I'm surprised they didn't care about this. Get the pig in the hat. Oh yeah, I'm... The backlog is a lot. This is seriously shady. We need to sound the alarm. Shady. What's wrong with you, shady? You just told them a minute ago. Thanks, Shambles. Oh yeah, I did deny. Thanks, Shambles. Sorry, I know I can be a bit dim sometimes. <laughs> no, the new admiral. Oh, is, is the hat talking and not the pig? I guess so. New favorite. He seems to take a sh He doesn't like usually take a shine everybody. Oh, how you managed to like wheedle his affections beyond me. Anyway, you're up and about. It seems I have a single fish in your plane leave the camp. I guess I am. I knew it. I knew it's ran all over your face. What? You lost your brother. That's dark. Wish we could help you find him, but we're under strict orders from Edward Mogsworth not to let you wander off. We got an idea. If you'd be willing to help us out, perhaps we might consider the strict no living camp policy. The other day, Shady buried some treasure around here to stop anyone else from getting it, but he pr probably forgot like where it is. We might consider like letting you slip out of camp if you can find it. How should we define it if we don't know where it is? It's not really fair to. Of course, it's not fair. You oh, if it's impossible. It's the whole point. Um. Ahem, now let's go over it all again, shall we? Shay has buried some treasure somewhere in the camp. Your job is to find it. <laughs> yeah, and if we, you do, we'll let you through. No questions asked. Definitely for sure. Not a doubt. Honest. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like the little, like, slurpees. Do they, all the slimes make that sound? Ugh, stop it. Ugh! It was too much. I was just like, all right. Okay, Isabella, let's see where this is at. So, it's gonna be just to show y'all. The slurping is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> oh no. Um, okay, so this is where it's at. This is the vision that tells us where this is. And honestly, I'd be fine if the entire game was just <laughs> this aspect. Again, there is combat in this game. It's not all just looking for 
these treasure visions, but it's also like, you know, Dragon Quest treasure. So treasure obviously is going to play a big role. I'm just not sure of the process of, uh, like, how it's going to go. No oh! Oh! Okay, we almost fell off the, the world. That's okay. Oh. Oh, hold on. Is it... This looks like... This looks like it could be right. The other side, maybe? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. It's gotta be worth a fortune. That's so cute. Can I go any faster? Maybe not. There she comes. Here she goes. Finding some treasure. We're skipping some text. Because I just want to play a... And we kind of know what they say. Hey. We just got to be careful that we don't click so fast that I end up being like, what are we doing? And it's like, it's what they just told you. If you were listening. A treasure beautiful, isn't it? Seriously? Thank you. It's really brighten my mood. Now we're monsters of our world. Um, Silent, thanks for the follow. You are officially here free to explore the big bag world outside. Okay. Well, they kept their word, even though they were very sketch. All right. Hmm, free map. What are you going to land to me with treasure? We got our little, uh, pebbles. There are all sorts of wild monsters out there, so be careful and don't say we didn't warn you. Dun, 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 dun. You gotta just have a map. You can check where you are and where you're going. Okay, with the mini map in the top right corner of the screen, if you ever get lost, press the minus to see the bigger map. There's like a smidge of lag. Not lag there, but like a delay from when you click the map to when you can actually see the map, which isn't my favorite, but. Ooh. Wait, can I just... Oh, okay, I can just stand up now. Why did the mu The music just drastically, like, ended. A little, a little too much for my taste. I know where we need to go, but what if we went this way instead? Dun, dun, duk -duk -dun. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to just walk off of this uh, cliff. But I don't want to lose any progress. Just to see what happens. Dun, dun, duk -duk -dun. Yeah, I did enjoy going to the Game Awards. Uh, it was a lot of fun to just, you know, be in person. Different, uh, different energy than what I can conjure in my apartment alone, <laughs> you know? Um, it was cool, you know, getting dressed up, hanging out, being at an event. It made the time go by a little bit better, because obviously the show is still very long. Um, but there was only, like, a little part that I felt like, okay, this is sort of dragging on a bit. Yeah, TJ's was super fun. Um, hopefully it's the first of many years attending. Okay, we have to kill this thing, I'm guessing, right? Oh! Shoot, how do I attack? Oh, with Y? Okay, hold on. Oh my god, why is this so guy so spongy? Oh, I got hit. Can roll away? What's the of Judas and live audience? People were excited! Um, thank you for the happy holidays. Obviously, like, I went online and, like, saw a lot of... Not a lot, a lot, but some discourse around, um... Oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. What's his name? The Bioshock dude, you know? And, like, how how he is to work for, like, his just general viewpoints and things, and, like, the work he makes and, like, the messages of his work from, like, the old... Especially, Ken Levine, yeah, especially the, um... 
like Bioshock like two and three. Again, I haven't played those games. So I just don't have a, an opinion. Um, but I did see in on my timeline, like the next day, like today, I felt like people were kind of a little bit more lukewarm on it. Um, but the audience did like pop for it. And I think I get the excitement around it because the first Bioshock was really good. Uh, we did see the, um, the kid on stage live, but a lot of us had like, tuned out kind of at that point because it was literally like okay now it's time to leave like it was the end of the show um they are my favorite little treasure hunter oh yay my friend my little my little pig well maybe the the cat's mine right because i have the pink one or do i have the yellow one because did we swap the colors um but a lot of us couldn't also hear what he said like i didn't hear anything he that kid said except for i'd like to nominate this award that's like all i heard I tuned out and barely heard what he said at the time as well, so it wasn't until I went online that it's like, okay, I got the full, like, sentence, but, um, but you need to do it all by yourself, not when you've got a monster to help you. And yeah, it was just kind of, um, it was like, oh, wait, what was that? It's like, oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. That was, like, the vibe in the room. Have it fight alongside you, um, and this battle will start to look a lot more winnable. You may feel a little overwhelmed at first, but try not to worry. Every battle will make you, will make both you and your monster stronger. My eye. I guess the pig is mine. Do something. Uh, no security was, I mean, it felt like normal for an event. Uh, now let's see what you and your monster and friend have got to do. Yo, gamers! I didn't even know this came out. Yeah, it came out today. So, yeah, I mean, security felt like it would at any event, you know? We walked through metal detectors on our way in. Um, when it came to sitting back down, like, if you got up to use the bathroom, to sit back down, you were, like, corralled, and you weren't let to return to your seat until a trailer was playing. Um, they were kind of moving people around for if Jeff ever did an aisle shot to try to make sure people weren't, like, walking around in the shot. Um, they had people coming, like, well, maybe not security guards, but the people, the, the staff working the event. I don't know how many, like, security guards, like, you know, their job is to take people down or whatever. But of the staff working the event, there were, like, people trying to corral, um, you know, certain folks who, like, maybe need to go on stage. Or, like, hey, you're going to be up next. So, like, bringing them backstage. So, it did, like, obviously, it does point to a failing. Like, it was a failure that this happened. And I don't want to deflect from that, but at the same time, I feel like it's a little unreasonable to acknowledge the ways that... Not that it's like it couldn't have been avoided, but that this did slip through. I feel like it's not necessarily because the event was completely poorly set up. Um, but it's tough because I, I get people having like that kind of reaction to it because it was a failing. Um... But yeah, I mean, I guess people, he, they went up and maybe, you know, not everyone knows like who's on the dev team, who isn't. Especially the people working the event, they don't like know, know, know what these people look like. Um, so, yeah, it's like, I wouldn't say it's easy to get away with that kind of thing, but I can see how that would happen. I mean, there are people like scamming and doing stuff all the time. Like, I've seen, you know, TikToks of people being like, I got into this concert by making a fake. And obviously, this kid didn't do anything that elaborate of like a fake ID badge or something, but it's a wild world out there. And, you know, obviously. It is unfortunate that that's going to have to be something on Jeff and all the other staff working the events mind for next year. Because that did happen, like trying to prevent that. And like, maybe it will mean there's not going to be it open to the public next time. I don't know. Um, exactly. Yeah. Like it could have been so much worse. Um, definitely it sucked, you know, like that, that shit sucks if that happened. Did you meet anybody cool or see any friends? Yeah, for first time, uh, you know, I want to shout out I am Brandon TV, who uh, you all might know Brandon from. Uh, hold on, why am I like. Oh, so the catapult's that. Does Isabella work on her own, or do I need to, like, tell Isabella to do anything? I think Isabella will just start attacking. Um, like, I am Brandon TV, you know, you may know uh, him from, like, his streams. Like, we've rated him a couple times, and he works at uh, Soft Giving, and I've done some charity streams in collaboration with, with Soft Giving before, so. Okay, this is much easier now. Your party attacks on their own. Great, it's basically like Yakuza like a dragon, but in real time. Isabella is a fantastic name. Very cute. Um, Isabella is psycho. Oh my god, psycho's goaded. Love psycho. 
Next year, no public allowed. Yeah, maybe not. And again, that's not to say that, like, just because there's nobody from the public doesn't mean that, like, crazy shit can't happen. Because we've seen that happen at other shows, but... Oh, I want the picture of the text. Some fine fighting. But, if you don't, but don't stop there. If you want to get stronger, take on plenty of battles. My name is Porcus. <laughs> Hi, Porcus. I'm searching for a special sort of treasure. I love Porcus. Yes! Look at Porcus! Look at him in his glory! Wow, Jason Derulo fell on the stairs. <laughs> Jason Derulo. No. I'm pleased to say that you are still in possession of the dragon dagger. Those daggers are extraordinary, extremely powerful, allow you to do all sorts of extraordinary things. You may see the visions of monsters nearby. That's not all. By expending some of your magical power, you'll be able to heal yourself. Not bad, huh? What's more, the power of the two daggers is combined. Like, when it is combined, wondrous things can happen. Hold Great, on. now he's gonna find my brother. Hold on, what happened to the blue haired? But yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, he went missing. What? I tried getting early copies for guys with no dice. Yeah, that sucks. It'll it'll get there. Uh, what, you got separated and he's your brother? You say, well, that's no good at all. It's sort of a Dragon Quest Pokemon RPG mix. Um, well, it sounds like Play Forward might know more than I do, in a sense. This is a... <sighs> I say it's like a Pokemon like RPG. It's a treasure hunting game, but it does have combat. Uh, what does what does uh, what's the what's the word the freaking genre label on the eShop? I'm curious now. Um, oh, just yeah, action adventure RPG. So pretty catch all. Combat has that Arceus flavor. Still. We shouldn't leave them for too long on their devices. Let's track them down. One thing that makes me kind of optimistic about this game, but you only have three members out. Cool, cool. Um, is I think it it might have just been Hardcore Gamer, which I admittedly don't read a lot from Hardcore Gamer. But their like headline for their review was, "Oh, this gets better. It's a great game that gets like better as you play." So even though some things are definitely, you know, it has like a basic start, right? I'm enjoying it so far, but it's pretty straightforward. It kind of reminds me of, like, I did have that that process with Yakuza where when I started the combat with Yakuza, I was like, mm, okay, it's fine. But then now that I have so many more tools to work with and encounters, um, I enjoy combat in that game so much more um, once I kind of gave it time to evolve. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for this game. And I want, like, to go all in on this treasure hunting thing. Like, all I want to do is hunt for the treasure. Yeah, I think I'm just leaving the tutorial heavy stuff in this. Um, yeah, I, um, wait, leaving or loving? Or at, like I'm, there might be a typo there. If this is my news recruit, what are you doing? It's, it's Mogsworth. <laughs> if this is an acquaintance of yours, he seems interesting. Found my HQ, nice. To answer your question, we are looking for Mia's brother. Oh. Porcus is so cute. Oh. oh, how is that right? Now, now let me think. I don't remember his voice. Hmm. hmm, yes, I remember now. I was up in the snouter horn and I saw him, a boy with blue hair and blue eyes. Sound familiar? I'm doing a quest to fix it up and I learned how to from monsters. Nice. That must be him. Come on, let's go. Hold on, hold on. You can't just stroll up to Snorterhorn. There are all sorts of wand monsters going around. Like, I'll roll with you, basically. People are a lot nicer to me in this world than I was expecting based on how it was when I answered it. And I shall have my trusty comrade accompany me for good measure. I'm feeling good. Gunther. Oh, my God. What a good name. Gunther? Are you joking? We can use the sky lift in the forest atop of this cliff to ascend Snouterhorn. The cliff is too steep to climb, but that's where our glutinous companions come in. Simply jump on the slime's back and use the elasticity provided by their blobby body. I love the writing in this line. <laughs> this is useful stuff. That's so funny. Okay, hold down L and press AXY to use the monster's forte. Um... Uh, sorry, hold on. I had a message. Um, let me see something real fast. Dun, 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 dun. Do 
Ooh, now I'm trying to hold on. I gotta see someone's last name. Well, actually, I can probably find this. This is for like tagging purposes. In the vlog, I did. Um. Uh, give me one second. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. Ba -ba -bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I think I'm good. So let's try to use this Forte. This is cute. Yeah, this is Pokemon Arceus. I mean, obviously, again, like, you know, Pokemon did not invent every idea that they use or that they like have uh, every mechanic in their game, but so. Does it matter which one I use? Ooh, they're all springy. I guess I ha can only use them like, that they get tired. Oh, do I need like? Hold on, maybe I gotta angle it or something. You can do it. Okay, so I can't do this in midair. Oh, okay. Like the angle, I just didn't quite get right. Okay, so is it why do attack? Oh, there's treasure. Gunther. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, hold on one second. Isaiah just asked if he could, if he, he wanted me to close the window, or he, did he want, did I want him to close the window? And I guess the answer is yes, because it is really loud outside. Dun, 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 dun. Um, okay, looks like you found some loot. It doesn't especially look valuable, though. I mean, when does that ever matter? Wanna say hello? There he is! Hello! What do we think so far? It's cool. I mean, uh, this is the stuff I played in when I previewed it, so it's not new for me yet. Um, it has a pretty slow start, but it's cute. Like, you're walking around looking for treasure. There's like a little bit of a combat mechanic and stuff. Um, yeah, just cause you have like different, um, slimes that have different like functionalities. Like you can like jump on them and then eventually like you'll get one that can like glide. And so that kind of reminds me of like the traversal in Arceus. Welcome the newest out of Wilds alumni, Isaiah Baidea. Um, uh, Isaiah, Eddie said, welcome to the newest Outer Wilds alumni. Like, welcome the newest Outer Wilds alumni, Isaiah Badea. Yeah, yeah, he got, I don't know if he told you, because I, he's, you know, he tagged me in, like, your guys' text. Like, he included me in the thread, but I was working when he sent me that, and then I've just been busy since then. So I didn't read, like, the, 
the ramblings of someone flowing through space <laughs> yet. Um, so I don't know if he already mentioned it to you, but yes, he will be doing Echoes of the Eye. Um, yeah, can I get some Isaiah emotes in chat if y'all have them? We got two of Isaiah's heads here. <laughs> He's like, well, so what's Echoes of the Eye? I'm like, you're learning about the Echo of the Eye? <laughs> I need to get the thing, too, where the, um... I need to re-add in where the emotes float across screen. It can be kind of a lot when I'm, like, playing a game. Like, for the mods and stuff, but... I think it's fun. I, I like having the emotes fly. I'm on my way to help Isaiah. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, though, I mean... Eh, spo spoilers for Outer Wilds? Like, not really, I don't know. Um, but... Isaiah, do you see what I mean by... Well, did you find it hard to, like, beat that game? Like, on a track? Like, how, did you, how many times did you... Did you not die? Did you one-shot it? Like... Yeah, just, like, the final sequence of things to do. Yeah. The um, ultimate day. Died the first time... Um... Because of sound? Uh-huh. Uh... Or not remember, but... Gave in to the suggestion that Eddie gave me. Mm-hmm. Things are often easier when you just give in to Eddie's suggestions. <laughs> this Eddie guy knows what he's talking about. Um, I guess I can recover here. A bunch of Isaiah has flying rescue. I know, I used to have that, but I just, um, like I had it on when I was using slobs, and then when I changed to OBS, like I had to kind of re-add everything, and that's one thing I kind of just forgot to add. Okay, uh, I don't think so. I think the earliest I'll come back out is, like, at 5 or something like that. You're having frozen? <laughs> Should I not look at you, like, going in the closet? I have presents. Ooh! Secret presents! Santa's coming! Sa oh my god! Santa! Goodbye, Santa Claus! <laughs> Um, okay. So I'm- oh, sorry, I read that again. Switch Pro- oh, man. I- it'd be cool- I would take a Switch Pro, but I don't- I didn't ask for a Switch Pro. Um, I mean, if, if I was given one, I, I would be like, that's cool. Um, no, there's no doubt about it. I know a treasure hunter when I see one. Craw? Uh, I can tell from your eyes, you see- What's a treasure hunter? I mean, this is kind of a dumb question. Yeah, someone hunts treasure, like... The girl, what are you talking about? Um, oh yeah, so it, it's this and then... Oh, I thought I'd be rewarded with my curiosity. Or I thought my curiosity would reward me. No, I thought I would be rewarded for my curiosity. Jeez, I cannot talk today. My mind's running at like 40 frames. This is kind of where I'm at today. It's like not bad. It's like more than 30, but it's not 60. Oh, hello there. No, I've not played uh, Dragon Quest XI and uh, S. I haven't actually played any Dragon Quest game. This will be my first one. Uh, yeah, I'll read it again because. Oh, yeah. Dragons. It was they who transformed dreams into treasure. Oh, hello there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's us. We're the dragons. But yeah, this is my first one. Um, I did, uh, as I've mentioned a couple times on here. Oh, have you seen my brother? Yeah. Your brother, the blue blue eyes. It happens, I do recall. Upstairs. Okay, great. Be careful. There's monsters. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, pre I previewed this and I enjoyed my time in the preview. Um, so I'm like, all right, let's let's keep it rocking and see uh, what this is like now that the game's out. It came out today. Um. Did you get up earlier than normal? Yes, I did. Uh, well, probably not early. Oh, what did he say? That door seems like at least the building where you need to split the inside first. Okay. Um, earlier than I would have liked to today because I went out last night for the Game Awards. Um, you know, I got to bed like decent time, like 12.30 or 1.30 or something. Um, but today was earlier than we normally record because we recorded at 10.30 CT, which is 8.30 PT, my time. This place looks and smells like I can't. It could be home to monsters, you caution. Oh yeah, here are the monsters. Oh! Oh! Oh, you do move like kind of, uh, it's a little sluggish. It is nice that when you hit Y, you kind of just, um, auto... Like... Like, lock on to the enemy.
Oh, oh, that's cool. They freeze it for that. Wait, how do I shoot? Oh, it's like that. Uh, uh. Uh. Um, yeah, Dragon Quest XI is maybe the coldest game ever. That's the vibe I get from this, where it's... It hasn't done anything yet where I'm like, wow, this is... This is... This is it, you know? Oh, you can break these boxes. But I like the premise of I'm this little kid, I'm hanging out with my brother, like it's brother-sister story, and they're hunting treasure, and like, they meet little pals along the way, and they do some like chill turn- not turn-based, but some chill real-time combat, like... It seems appealing, um... I was into this, uh, kind of opening section, again, I have played this- this part before, but in a little bit I'll be in, uh, uncharted territory. So I'm gonna try to skip through, like, some aspects of the dialogue, just for sake of time. I didn't even know this game was too, uh, I didn't know this game was a thing until I saw it was tweeted out. When it was announced, was there no marketing for it? I do feel like I and in general, and I don't know if it's because like the circles I roll in or what it is, but um I feel like I don't I personally don't get a lot of the marketing that Square does. Um whether it's like means I'm not on the right PR list radar or you know, traditionally I'm not like the biggest RPG person, so maybe you know, maybe that's why, like, not, and not like, uh, oh, they're, like, purposefully missing me or something. But maybe I don't see as much stuff for that reason. Or something, I don't know, but, um, let me know if y'all feel like you knew this game was coming out. Because a couple of you have already mentioned to me. Ooh, hold on. I gotta sneeze, sorry. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, that you felt like, oh, I didn't even know this was coming out. And, like, the only reason I knew it was coming out is because I wrote down the date in my calendar. Um, because I played the preview, and I think when I went to the preview, I wasn't, like, obviously before they said what games would be there, so I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. But, um... Let's see, um... But yeah, I don't know if I saw a ton of marketing. I feel like in general with Square, I don't, I don't personally see a lot of marketing for Square games, but... Like I said, maybe I'm just not like the right demographic. Like maybe the maybe the the real RPG stands are getting the marketing. I was supposed to be waiting for it, but yeah, I don't remember much marketing. Um Okay, so time to look for another way. Well Fantasy gets all their marketing budget. Okay, let's see. Oof. I mean, it's definitely their their big IP, right? I mean, not that Dragon Quest is not big, obviously, but... Oops, how do I put it away? Okay, there goes. Oh, no. No, no, no! But it's probably among, like, the, the biggest in terms of, like, marketing, fanfare, and stuff, but... That's just the vibe. For all I know, those dollars could totally be different, and... Yeah, this is, this is just, like, off of the vibes. Um... I've been wanting something to be up here and nothing is ever- Oh snap, people are hurting me. It is nice that I can just kind of like walk around and they do my work for me. I love when companions do the work for me. I just want to explore a little bit before I go into that. Oh, maybe I actually have to- Maybe this isn't anything. I thought I was going to go into one of these. A sinister looking contraption that's broken. Is this one broken too? Elderman got war lucky that this game came out after the deadline. Um, I can see this um, being up for something uh, next year. We'll see. It's funny because I guess I'm I'm really uh, almost in uh, 2023 era at this point in terms of game awards kind of stuff, you know. But can I get up there? Oh shoot! Maybe, maybe from down here. Oh, close. Maybe can I go up here and then... Oh yeah, I, I love that. That's great. Then for best game that missed the deadline. <laughs> I mean, God of War Ragnarok barely made it. Like, I was literally waiting to submit my stuff while I was playing through that and not in a, oh, like, you just wanted to put down God of War. Like, I was playing God of War and I'm like, yo, this thing is hitting, but I have to, f I gotta finish it before I really put this down or I'd like to finish it and like you know I knew I knew what deadline was for everything um for the initial nominations at least by the time I had to vote um I had been beating the game a while ago but the game had only been out for a little bit so it definitely was um like 
a lot to fit. It was, it barely fit, I feel like. Just in terms of uh, when it came out and when people were able to play it. Because obviously not everyone in the industry gets like review codes, like early access codes for these games. Oops, I already did that. Like various th oh yeah, like that just showed up out of nowhere. I mean, they have so many projects, but you know, again, with with this game to their credit, they did have like this like preview event and like people covered it and like wrote about it and talked about it. Harvestella too, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's tough to get to feel like you got got it out there enough. Sure, let's open the door. Just came back, so maybe it's a discussion. But did anyone else think the Bayonet game looked awful in every way? The <laughs> I saw it and was like, this looks interesting. This is either really gonna hit or really gonna flop, and I don't know which one it's gonna be. I still need to play Bayonet 3. I haven't tried it yet. What in the name of? It's Dr. Robotnik. No, I don't know who this is. I got Val Valkyrie, Elysium, and Harvestella ads too. Um, I hear it casually mentioned in news shows. I'm into RPG. Um, yeah, yeah, I could, that's what I was saying, too. I'm glad you brought that up, Peek, because, oh, jeez, hold on. These, this, this thing is, like, really fighting me. Oh! Wait, do I have, like, a better pellet? Increase in allies' defense, inflict electrical damage. I mean, will this be good, even? Like, the act of, like... How do I avoid that? The act of like rolling around is not the best. It gets a little bit of a stiff game, but it's not. Um, maybe I shouldn't use all those pellets. It's not like enough to really deter me from liking the uh, general flow, but it's not like the combat leaves a little something to be desired. I will say, just like the smoothness of it, you know what I mean? It's a little stiff, a little, little, little clonkers. Uh, where can I play this game? I believe this is only on Switch, um, but let me double check. Wait, are you talking about, um, what game are you talking about? This game? Or a different game? Um, I'm pretty sure Dragon Quest uh, Treasures is only on Switch. But let me double check. But also let me know if you're talking about a different game because we named, okay, this, perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm like 90% sure. Let me double check though. Um, maybe PC. Let me see. Buy now. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure, but I just don't want to be wrong. Okay. Yeah, just switch. Because when you hit the buy now, it only goes to switch. Um, just switch according to Google. Shout out to Google. Switch. Okay, thank you guys for confirming. I always try to double check because I never want to misspeak. But I'm up my uh, work before we week off. Oh, congratulations, no bash ash. Uh, game's cool. This is still the early parts where I did the preview uh, for, so I haven't gotten into Uncharted territory yet. It's a lot of the stuff I already knew and thought about the game, which is, it's cute. Uh, seems seems promising. Um, see, thanks for the follow. Oh dear boy, are you all right? I like the treasure hunting aspect and the slimes are adorable. There's like a lot of cuteness to the game. So I'm hoping for like a chill, cozy time. I don't necessarily think this is gonna reinvent the wheel on anything, but it does have from like what I've played of it so far, the potential to really hone in on its systems a bit more and feel a little bit more compelling than it currently does. But either way, I think it'll be like a chill, fun playthrough if I were to stick with it. I don't know if I will because of time, but Looks like you made a lot of friends along the way. I'm impressed. Gonna be helping my mother-in-law pack. Oh man. It's always rough when you have time off work and then you fill that with like different kind of work. But yeah, it's tough to like have it all, you know, life's so busy. With this on the Steam Deck, yeah. 
Um, I mean, I feel like it does look pretty solid on Switch. Like, I don't really have any gripes about the performance. I do wish the visuals were a little bit um, crisper. And just have the sort of... You can tell they load in things, like, a little bit later to help with some of the graphics parts, like when you're out in the more open areas, but generally I think it's pretty good. Oh yeah, the little pets are so cute. Um, Deary me, sleeping on the job again. Porcela. Or Porcela. Come on. Hold on. Is that Flapping Feline an acquaintance of yours? You. Flapping Feline indeed. I have a name, you know. Porcela. I have come in this world in search of a very particular type of treasure. So cute! I need that punk rock cat on my shelf. I- Oh, the- Yeah, Mog's worth it. <laughs> I don't like his tongue. It's kind of creepy. Um, Purse is actually pretty cool. She knows so much neat stuff about the islands that we're on. It's cute because they have like opposite daggers. Like, he has the blue one and is with the- Or the yellow one. It's like blue or yellow and is with like the pink pet. And she has the pink one, but she's with like the yellow pet. Um, now remember it's- Open the treasure. Okay, I'm sure there's something in there, though. All right. Like I said, I am going a little faster through some of the dialogue, just for sake of time. Because there's plenty to read so far. You know, we're in the early parts of a, an RPG, so... Well, it's empty now. Opposite Daggers is the name of my new emo band. I do like the cute critters. Wait a minute. Oh, Mogsworth. So Silverbone's many dog's body wants to get his filthy paws on the treasure, does he? Not on my watch. Hand it over. Levanter, no servant of Sylphania, is going to give me orders. Besides, the chest was empty when we arrived. That makes me dumb. It must be you who's got your grubby mitts on its contents. I do like his accent. Nonsense. We only just got here. Whoever took that treasure, it wasn't us. Which does beg the question, who did take it? Yar 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 yar. Yar 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 yar. And meow meow meow. Doon tika doon doon. Tika doon doon. Tika doon 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 doon. This is around like what we're about to do is what I did for my preview. VO crew. I would love to do VO at least once, but I feel like I am um, like a shit voice actor, so I'd have to learn. But I've thought about trying to learn, because I definitely don't think I have <laughs> the chops as is, but any skill can be learned. I do think for certain skills, like stuff that involves um, an aspect of physicality, sometimes there's an aspect of some limitations that just might be kind of natural, but um, generally, I feel like for the most part, you can kind of do anything, so. Yeah, like I would love to, from like, I wouldn't say it's completely vanity, because it's like not the only reason, but just like as, you know, a gamer and someone who's a big fan of games, I would love to have my name in the credits of a game. Outside of like, I don't want the whole like, I funded it on Kickstarter so they put my name in the credits, like, I want some aspect of my work what helped make the, make a thing happen. I think that'd be really fun. But that's pretty low on my list, because at the end of the day I like doing, you know, criticism and stuff, so... Mm-hmm. Well, if it isn't the Sulfanians, lowly to the party once more. Yeah, come for the Kickstarter backers. Look, I'm just saying that's not how I would want to get it. That's just me. That's just me. I'm not against having my name that way, but I wouldn't feel like that counted for what I want. Um, we took the liberty of securing the treasure you seem to have been seeking. Could it be? Yes, no doubt. It's one of the seven stones. I love when games do this. Like, I, I, I kind of hate... It's like I love-hate it. It's like, oh... There are seven stones. Now we have to get the seven stones. And then everything's like very carefully divided. Mom's you're embarrassing yourself and you're embarrassing us all. <laughs> Captain, how can you say such a thing? Call yourself a pirate? The so-called booty you keep bringing back is nothing but worthless rubbish. I feel like this could be funny, so I'm just gonna screenshot it. Look at you now, sh you sniveling wrench. You're unworthy of a place in my thunderous plunderers. Used up all your life. The thunder plunders. Um, this is so dramatic. Captain? And what are the youngins, Captain? Ba -dum -ba -bum. Doon -doon. That pair of blue eyed whippersnappers? Hmm. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Leave them. We've got more important matters at hand. Listen up, Silverbones. You won't get away with this. I will stop you in the name of Sulfania! 
Well, well, Levanter, it's been a while. It's not often we get to par parlay. So here's a juicy tidbit for you. Just got here. Did Kojima, <laughs> Kojima did not come over wings, which I was um, shocked to find out. Like when Greg was like, oh, Jen can't make it. I'm like, okay, thank God Kojima can still come by. <laughs> oh no, Kojima did not make it for wings. I saw him on stage though, and I was like, he could have had these wings. He fucked up. We've got our sights set on a place called La Isla Dorada, an island where unimaginable riches await. Oh, La Isla? I wouldn't expect a fool like you to understand. I like your hat, cool glasses, thanks. We've got places to be and treasure to plunder. Gar. Yeah, I had to be a little festive. I'm bummed I have not had time to decorate my background. And now the more time passes, the more I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna take it down again. Like, normally I'm really, I decorate the rest of my apartment, but I haven't done the backdrop uh, in a festive way. So maybe I'll just take some time and knock that out this weekend. Uh, Blessing will be over for Wings tomorrow, so that'll be fun. Hold on. That treasure they were so brazenly brandishing. Do you think it was one of? It would certainly seem so. And it was snatched from right under our noses. Uh, Looks like we've got ourselves mixed up in something serious, sis. Two gangs of hardened treasure hunters and us caught in the middle. Captain Levanta. Ah, Gail. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her little outfit. Oh. Her little hat. Where are the pirates? They've gone. I'll explain everything later. Do 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 do. do. You're a lot. What's your story? That's my sister Mia. I reckon Mia, eh? And what are you doing here, looking for treasure? Are you looking for treasure? Are you? That's right. Not as much. Well, best of luck to you. She's pretty chill. Well, it's good of you to keep us on our toes. I wish you luck. You'll need it. So. I haven't seen you two around before. Are you part of a gang or are you hunting for treasure on your own? Well. Either way, it's nice to meet you. See you around, Eric and Mia. Do 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 do. Ah, Feels like things have finally calmed down a little bit. Now's a good time. This sounds a good time to show you this amazing thing I found. Want to take a look? Come on, follow me. Looks pretty broken. Most of the composer still intact. I knew someone who was good at with machines. I better get this repaired. Let me just see if there's anything else around here. No, I guess not. Okay. Come on, sis. Oh, they're so cute. This way. Yo, he's ups. He's running. He's running for it. He's running for it. He's gunning for it. You'll love this. Nearly there. Oh my god. I'm tired, sir. Okay, so right when this happens, this is the end of my preview. Check it out. It's amazing. Problem is not working. I guess it's broken. Okay. Look down, it's floating in it. the air. Pretty impressive, huh? That's not all. This place is absolutely jam packed with treasure. I mean, I found loads of cool stuff already. How about you? Did you find anything? Sure. No way. Show me later. Oh, sure. Much later. Because I still can't believe we were in those old ruins. Oh. You saw that dagger from the ruins, right? Isn't they're pretty powerful? My one lets me do all this cool stuff. Um, no, because I've never had eggnog, so I'm not a fan of it. I actually need to have some... Isaiah really wants me to try eggnog. It sounds nasty, to be honest, so I'm, like, not looking forward to it, I don't think. But there is a curiosity there. 
And in general, I like to knock out these things where it's like a little weird that you haven't tried it. It's like, oh, I should probably give that a try. <sighs> yeah, the name sounds gross. Um, I have a very good vegan eggnog recipe. Put some tequila in it. I, I feel like at that point, this is just like bad, a bad version of Coquito, you know? Like what in the, what the hell is in the nog? I don't know what's in the nog and I'm scared to find out. Yeah, this is where the game truly begins. Okay, so we'll get a little bit further than this. It's not bad by before. Yeah, exactly. And then what's in Coquito again? Come on, sock. I forgot what's in there. I only had it like once. It's delicious though. I used to not like it because of the name too, but now I adore it. That is not what's in there. That is a, a flagrant lie. That is not what's in there. Wait, is that what's in there? Basically thin pancake batter with the, um, the eggnog? What is pancake batter though? Um, now check this out. My aunt has a really good coquito recipe. It's the batter that makes the pancakes. Look, it looks like a dragon head. Okay. Where we're standing, it's shaped like a dragon. Oh my god, why is he on? <laughs> why are you on the railing on the floating oh, island? Dude, Kid, get down! The treasure for land where we find ourselves goes by the name of Draconia. He's he gonna slip and fall for the rest of his life. Two giants' heads. Story goes that two golden dragons chose as their final resting place many, many centuries ago. Their enormous body slowly turned to stone, forming a large and bland mass before us now. My mom makes Greg eggnog with some vanilla ice cream and fresh grounded nutmeg. Oh, cool. I want to try that Crime Bros game with Danny Glover and Vanilla Ice. Oh my god, I feel like that's not going to be good, right? Like, it, look, it looks bad, but... A game that looks bad could be good, and a game that looks good could be bad, so... You know, who's to say what's gonna happen here, right? I'm not- I'm not, I'm not a scientist. It looks cheese. Oh, that was a joke trailer. <laughs> Guess that's why there's so much treasures here, then. Exactly! Now among these countless treasures... ...are some that are very special indeed. I speak of the seven precious gems known as the Dragonstones. Dragonstones, Dragonstones, where with Porcus and Persula. Come on now, take my hand, let's all go to Dragonland. With your natural treasure, you have like a natural talent to help us find the stones. Porcela, Porcula, Porcula, Porcula. Okay, I like the sound of that. I thought it was like purr, like purr. <laughs> what do you think, Mia? That's how you said it. Oh, Porsula? But how you, how do you say it? It's per, it's Porsula, right? Like Porsula, like purr, like cat purr. Porsula. I don't know. This is, that game looked fun. People understand it for the nineties. Ursula, Porsula. Yeah, that's what I said. I feel like that's what I'm saying, but I I understand that you disagree, and you might be right because you're hearing me, and I'm not hearing myself. Because I turned that feature off on my GoXLR because it was awful. Um, the jewel those pirates took was one of the dragon stones, right? Okay. I can show to make art. Okay, cool, spirit. cool. Yay. So okay. I fell asleep right after the crash announcement, so I woke up. I saw Ke Keely saying someone was arrested for something the Game Awards. I thought he was joking about crash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Every last piece. That's that's funny. <laughs> That is so funny. Well, we're not going home until we've grabbed every last piece we can find. Just... Crash was wild. I'm sad he didn't do the dash, the dance. It's like Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot. Do, 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 do. I just wish I knew where to start. Also, something really funny about seeing that announcement, like with Crash on stage and he's the one announcing the game. Um, the people behind me were like. Why is Crash the one announcing the game? Like, and it's just like, I get what they mean by that. It's like, okay, well, who's the person? Like, where is the actual person for this game? Like, anybody, but um, I don't know. It's been weird stuff. So it's a game like a, I honestly didn't understand what it was either. It's like a four, it's a 4v4 multiplayer game, but I don't think it's a MOBA. I think it's like a series of challenges. Honestly, they didn't do a, good, a great job getting, giving me a sense of what that game is. It wasn't an awful job because they gave me some sense, but honestly, 
When it first started, I'm like, oh, it's a fighting game. And then I was like, oh, okay. It looks like a platform brawler. Dragon Ball's music is so distinctive. Okay, let's get, get on this, this train going. We're gonna, we're gonna spam these last couple dialogue boxes because it's train time. I like how they showed uh, Phil Spencer doing that part. <laughs> Looks okay if it's mostly platforming. Yeah, but then it's like uh, the m I I'm gonna try it. I love I love platforms and I love Crash. But um, well, well, it would appear someone has got it working. I guess so. Wonderful. Okay, you know I have a funny feeling that you two might. Be the key to solving this world's myriad of mysteries, or myriad, myriad, myriad. Oh, but where am I? Oh, yeah. Princess Anem. Oh God. Princess Anemone. Okay, we can do this. Princess Anemone. Anemone. So difficult. Nice colors and art. Yes, that's very cute. <laughs> hey, blue blood color. Anemone. That's so hard. Anemone. 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 Um. Sorry, now I had to check last over my phone. I'm making sure I didn't double request something. I always thought anemone. It's like it's such a tough word. I feel like games just have to be better than Gotham Knights for me to give them a shot. But ha but you only know that by playing them a lot of times, so it's tough. I'll try most games. I mean, that's kind of what this series is about, right? Like I've played usually again. A lot of games are like solid at least. Um, especially like I'm not picking stuff like oh let me pick something whack and just like play it. I pick stuff that either has some level of like hype around it, like it's it's been on my radar, or it's been put on my radar. So that's kind of that. We beat the game, y'all. Congratulations to us. We did it. We quested for our treasure, and now we're done. Um, Time to start our treasure. They're so cute. They're like little, these little kids having an adventure. Now the game really begins. Yeah, done with the intro. I know it took so long. But the time, well, you know, again, too, I drag a lot of times when I'm streaming because I will pause and like chit chat and read chat and da da da. But um, okay, scaling cliffs in a single bound. Hold down L and press. Oh wait, no, I know that already. Just kidding. All right, now I'm on an uncharted territory at last. Pale guy Tony, what's up? Oh, why? Why do they need to make that sound? Like, no, no, no. <laughs> It's too much. Happy Post Game Awards, thank you. Happy Post Game Awards to y'all as well. Um, I guess I haven't asked, you know, I feel like, oh, I'm so rude. Like, y'all have asked me so much about the Game Awards and what I thought. Like, what did you guys think? Like, did you enjoy the show? Um, any favorite announcements? Love and Santa hat. Yeah, we had to, you know, the reason for the season. Well, it's, um, it seems we've arrived. The question is where? Very rude, I know. That's me. I just live to be rude. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. Some great trailers. Nice. Answer was fucking treasure needs a base. Here we go. If you ask me, a space seems perfect. Yeah, I didn't ask you about your experience watching from home. How's it like being at your house? Or your place that you rent? Okay. Fluke Eye. Fluke Eye. My husband and I were screaming um, when Haze 2 was announced. Oh, that's great. Hey, look, there's someone here. We might as well. We might want to check on him first before claiming this place as our own. That's a good idea. Being in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, it was cold. Armored Core 6, Hades 2, Earthblade. Um, we were talking, talking about this on Minmax, but does Earthblade not sound like the name of a game, a video game in a fake world? 
like you're watching a TV show and the kids are like, oh, did you, I got the high score on Earthblade. Like, I want the Horizon DLC. Me too. Y'all know I'm not a big DLC person, but I'll show up for, I'll show up and show out for Horizon always. Good day to you. Am I right in thinking you've just arrived aboard that locomotive? Man, I need to finish Horizon. It's, it's really good. He would look cool. Um, yeah, the Metal Devil, as people were saying, calling him. Work has been destroying me. Yeah, sometimes it's just about getting through, you know? Nightingale. I had three interviews this week. Um, congrats on the interviews. I hope one of them pans out, uh, to a, a new place, new job. Bro, what are news? The company is saved! Oh, what are you- what? Dear me, I have completely neglected to introduce myself, haven't I? Houston's the name. Or oh, he's Mr. Houston. I work for the Transdraconic Railway. In the capacity of chairman, chief engineer, and station manager. Master? Manager? I have a little introduction. I wish I had, like, a little introduction like that. I was so excited when I realized I was watching the Horizon DLC. Yes, um, and, like, what tipped me off that it was the DLC was how much they showed Aloy. Aloy is confirmed to be in the VR game, but you encounter Aloy, like, in your journey. You're not playing as Aloy, at least not from what they've said. Uh, that sounds like a lot of work for one person. One of the best TGAs, even though the stuff I wasn't hyped for looked so even the stuff I wasn't hyped for looks odd. Well, yes, it is. I gotta check the pre-show. It looks like a lot of cool games were uh, highlighted there. But the fact of the matter is that the Trans Draconic Railway currently has a grand total of three employees. Yeah, the Hellboy game looked interesting, for sure. The cell shaded Hellboy game isn't selling much of a company. I can assure you that it wasn't always like this. The railway was once a vast concern that served every corner of the land. And, as it happens, you are standing on the site of our headquarters, the very first station. Though they are now in a rather sorry state. Time you could catch a train from here to whichever part of the world you fancied. However. But alas, it was not to last. One by one, the train stopped running. The stations fell in despair. The staff all left. Hmm. It doesn't seem right to ask if we can use this as our base. What do you mean? Your base? What do you mean? Would you be so inclined to enlighten me? Well, the comments, it was so cool. Um, can I have a quick word in private, Mr. Yusin? Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for the follow. Best Keelys, uh, they've pulled off yet. Incredible content, non-cringy performances, fun all the way through. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very solid. Your friends have been kind enough to explain everything. I understand you came here in search of treasure. So I think it would be absolutely marvelous if you used RHQ as your base of operations. Really animal. Wow, you hating on Animal? I was I was cool with Animal. He was not there that long. It was it was uh it was kinda weird, but I feel like hosting with the Muppet has its own unique set of challenges, but I was down to see Animal. The animal. And then it was trivia for the <laughs> then the award that I forgot what uh it was for music. And then he's like, Oh thanks, Animal, you're my favorite drummer. <laughs> but my thing is, what were they promoting with that? I think just like the Muppets and like their brand, you know what I mean? Um Weird that guy went on stage doing the- Oh yeah, that was weird. Um, Animal's better than Beaker. Do you think Horizon from West got overlooked? Or is it just a case of, um... Yeah, Elden Ring got a war, just like, the top contenders for everything. Like, I would love for more games that are great get recognized for being great. But, the nature of award shows or awards like this is that you're awarding what you think the best is. And the truth is, like, because a game is the sum of its parts, a lot of times the game with the best art, the best story, the best whatever, is gonna be, like, just the best game in general, so it's not like, oh, well, I really liked Horizon, so let's just give them best music, or let's just give them whatever. Um, it does suck when it's like, oh, I feel like you deserve to be recognized for your greatness, but, like, the game's the game, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm sure Horizon will win other awards in other places, but yeah, like, that's just... Like, I thought of that even, like, I didn't think of it when I was voting in the sense that I was like, oh, I gotta do, like, change this or influence it. Like, when I look at the, um, the categories, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's the best game in this category? Or what game, uh, nails this category the best? So even something like Best Indie, I think my personal pick for that would have been, um, and have a YouTube video on this if y'all want to check it out, would have been Tunic, because I think that's the best game on there. Granted, I didn't play full through all of those even though like stray is really incredible and like may more fun in some ways and i have left less beefs but tunic has like this ambition and stuff that you know i feel like makes it 
really noteworthy and really special. Stuff like that, where it's like, okay, there's games that I would like to, like, praise, but that doesn't mean that, like, that's not the nature of that award show. It's like, okay, well, what's the best in each category? And sometimes it is the same game over and over again, um, just because of how the categories are, like, labeled and things. I went for Tunic in the category as well. Excellent commentary. Uh, Cult of the Lamb, taking out. Yeah, Gold Lamb's great, too. Um, I still haven't beat it, so I, I, I wonder if my opinion on that category would cha will change or would change if I did beat Cult of the Lamb. Tunic Rule Share is fantastic and fun, but I think it's uh, three games in the category were better. Yeah, you know? Horizon was nominated for a lot, so it didn't feel overlooked. It felt, yeah, I think that's a good point, too. Like, I think the nominations are, for some people, that was, like, probably their pick for those categories. But for most people, it was, you know, God of War, Elden Ring, God of War, Elden Ring. Go ahead and spoil for Philly. It's going to take my time. Let's take a little break here, a little little nappy nap. Next year's yeah, two yeah, yeah, it could be. Um probably will be, but I don't know. Um It's a little scary. You know, it's always like uh, intimidating when there's a sequel to a game that's widely considered to be a masterpiece and like how do you expand on these things or top what you've done? Um, I'm excited to see them take on that challenge for sure, but you just never know if it, how it's going to shake out. That that being said, I think uh, Tears of the Kingdom is still like the number one pick for people. Like, you know, thinking of like fancy pick for next year, like, I think that's going to be the number one pick in a lot of leagues. Um, do you have to fight this? Oh, no. We're fr friend? Friend or foe? The name's Mudima. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh my god, we have little beds and stuff. Yay! Okay. Mr. Houston said you can use this place. Oh! <sighs> Did he now? Well, it's a good job. I've been keeping place pick and span, isn't it? I don't like that he's shaking his hand at me. <laughs> oh, it's all dripping and monsters you say you'd best learn. Leave them to me, young man. Just give me a shout if you want any monsters changing or otherwise whipping into shape. For the job. Don't worry, I'll make sure you always say, okay, I'm the right monster for the job. <laughs> Did you hear that Mr. Muddimer is taking care of any monsters that join up? There'll be no stopping for us. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, that's a cool little lore explanation of that. There's this guy. I'm Good. Miss Cecily. Okay, head of personnel. Now that we have much in the way of personnel at the moment, of course, still must keep up appearances. Mr. Houston said we could use this place, like use the facilities. Oh, did he now? Well, then I'd better explain a little bit more about how things work around here, hadn't I? I'm in charge of personnel, as I said, which means I deal with new recruits. I'll be honest with you, though, we haven't had anyone getting in touch in goodness knows oh, how long. Say. Oh, say, what's this? It seems a new job application has just arrived. Let's take a look, mm -hmm. shall we? These are kid, it's a young Draki, and here's what they had to say. The truth is I've been inspired by this amazing girl with blue eyes. She never gives up. I want her to help her any way I can. Bright blue eyes? Eh? He he he. I wonder who that could be referring to. Anyway, I've got all the details on file, so just come speak to me if you want to know more. Wow. Oh, it sounds like this monster's taking a real shine to you, sis. Maybe if we team up with them, they'll help us find treasures. Welcome to personnel. Oh, this is interesting. See, now we're really starting to see some stuff. Um... Sure! I might end up playing a little bit, um, further. Usually I do, like, two hours and then switch, but... Uh, Jelly Core Worlds, I don't think it'll take as much to, like, get a sense of the, um... The gameplay and the flow of that game. Um, so I think I'll stick to this a little bit longer just so we can see more of the systems and I can actually experience some stuff that's, uh, new to me because... Like I said, I did everything that came before this, so... I've been nosing around in here. It seems to be some sort of storeroom. It's such a nice space, but it's a complete pigsty at the moment. It seems like a waste. You're saying Jellicoe Rose is deep? I mean, it's not. Like, it's a super fun game that I played at PAX West. Um, but it doesn't have... All of its systems get revealed in, like, 
maybe like three levels. Um, even though I know you're probably like asking as like a as a gaff, right? As like a kind of a joke, but genuinely, yeah, it's like you play that game for two seconds and you know exactly what you're playing, um, which is fine. Like I think it's a, a really fun game, and I'm excited to see what is it like going level to level because I've only played it like in you know five minutes at PAX. Um, so now that it's out, I really want to see it through. So. Um, all right, give Porcus all the treasure you found. Well, like this, I'm getting new systems. And like, there's, it's so interesting because like some games, like you just keep getting system after system. Um, and it can take so long to like see all of the ideas like a game has to implement or offer. Great, I'll take care of it. Um, now while I work on getting this place looking spick and span, why don't you explore facilities? Do you think they released Jelly Car Worlds to make Poi Poi Mall Car look bad? You know, I don't even know how to explain this inside joke that we formed of... There's gotta- we have to make a command for it. Um, I'm gonna say no. Of just like, that one reference. Wait, where do I go now? I feel like I was not listening. Nightbot got good vibes. Yeah, yeah. Nightbot's fun. Nightbot's a great bot. Um, so Jelly Car it's interesting. Okay, so I don't want to- I don't want to butcher it, so let me know if I'm off base here. Jelly Car Worlds was- n I don't think it was ever a mobile game, but it was a web browser game from a long time ago. And they're- I wouldn't say they're remaking it, but they're kind of like, let's, like, release it for real is kind of the idea of, like, it's more polished, so it's, like, m more of, like, um, you know, a world and leveling system, potentially new mechanics. Just saw the explanation mark on the minimap. Okay, cool. Um... But I don't fully remember. If you go on, and I think it's actually, I follow the dev on TikTok because I like the game that I uh, previewed at PAX or that I played at PAX, right? And I went to go see, um, like I saw the dev has like a TikTok. Um, so the TikTok is Wallaber Wallaber Games, like W A L A B E R Games. So, like, for a full answer, like, I'd have to look a little further back on his TikToks. Because he has answered that question before. Um, but that's my understanding, which, like I said, I might be a little off pace, but I think, I think I have that right. Because it has, like, come up a couple times. Um. Ah, you're back. Jolly good. I hope your facilities were to your satisfaction. Do you feel, um, free to, do feel free to use them as you see fit. Wahlberg. No, I did think of Wahlberg though for a second. Not Wahlburger Games. Uh, Wallabear. W-A-L-A-B-E-R. I think Wallaber. Um, I'm sure if you, if you search the Jelly Car Worlds on TikTok, like, the account comes up pretty quickly. Um, there is, however, something I'd like to... I should like to trouble you for in favor. I have a dream we're starting to... Oh yeah, I'd love to restore this. Hell yeah. What do you need? How many millions? Oh, they're so cute. Look, they're all pals here. Look at the pals. Uh, before we tear away, I must let you know it's a fair, bare fit of, blah, 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 a fair bit of work to be done. Let me do the work. Okay, good clean. Royal soil. Okay, there's none on this island. You'll have to go to Paternoggin to get some. Okay, I'm just gonna screenshot that. Uh, thank you, yeah. What's the Twitter? There's also, there's also a TikTok, but you can kind of all funnel from from there. Uh, but yeah, it came out today. I mean, it dropped officially on the eShop um, sometime last night, but today it's like out everywhere because it was kind of like rolling out at different times in different regions. Um, and like, again, shout out to um, that developer being on TikTok because following them on TikTok is how I saw that the game was coming out. Like, I actually had no idea when the game was coming out. So, hey, they got one tail off of um, me seeing that. And I thought about like, hitting up for code but i'm like oh, it's like such a short turnaround because i like forgot that this was coming out and i'm like it's fine the game's eight bucks like i'll just buy it and you know we'll, we'll roll with it there uh now you may be wondering how you're going to persuade this orc to come work for us because there's 10 bullets well i'm gonna shoot him or what okay the buddy bullet be my friend right now <laughs> effective against a single monster only Bear this in mind Oh, so this is Pokemon. You like defeat a monster in defeat a monster in battle first. Monsters will take a shiny during combat. Will come visit you at the base once they've dusted themselves down. This is like a weird mix of stuff. Again, Pokemon did not invent combat and or monster. What? 
What's the biggest monster? Is Pokemon the biggest, like, initial monster monster catching game? No, probably not, right? There's gotta be other ones. I feel like something's always before the thing I think of. But let me know in the chat if you can think of, uh... Something that fits that description. Simply hit a, um... Promising-looking orc. Pokemon is the biggest. But, like, for the... It's the biggest, but, like, who... What's the first game to really have monster catching in a big way? Is it just yes, no? Oh, does it po the Pokemon big? Wooloo big. Give it a shot. Is Sanguinite. Okay. Seems to have seen... Okay, the very thing we need. Now, these three tasks I've outlined can be carried out in any order. Just be sure to come. Let me know they're complete. Okay. You got it. Some of the first thing I do is head back to Patternoggin. What do you think? Um. I can do you mind if I take care of it? Sure. Damn, she's not excited. Me, oh, they high fived. They high fived. Friendship. Okay. This is worth remembering. This is where our quests are. Wait. Good to know. Okay, you can only have one current object at a time. Okay, so the roar the royal sir the the royal soil is mine's gonna be in, in Patternoggin. Let's repair the railway for Mr. Houston. Great. Uh, I'm glad you're playing this since it seems like Western games may attempt to ignore Dragon Quest. And games that come out after the game awards. Arrow like Meryl, what's good? Um yeah, you know, it's it's definitely near that time of uh, where even I'm gonna start shutting things down soon. I think we only have two of these streams left. We have this one and then next week's, because uh, I do want to take some time off for the the holidays, uh, like most of the people. But yeah, you, you know, it's getting quieter and quieter out there, but we're we're all doing our last bits of content uh, before we head off for the new year. Um, and this one's mine, you know, I, it's, that's the thing I like about having um, this is a weekly task, is I play games that I might otherwise not. And we can play Fortnite every winter break. We can play Fortnite forever, whenever. Um, Shimagami Tensei and Dragon Quest V seem to have had some elements of catching monsters. Um... Okay, let's see. We're just gonna pick up everything all the time. I don't even know what this does, but I want it. I don't know if my inventory can fill up. I'm jelly happy indeed. Now I'm in the mood for some jelly with toast. I feel like review season lasted... Oh, yeah, it was such a busy year. Um, it was tough. Like, every year is so challenging to try to keep up with all these games. And, like, logically, I know it's impossible to play all of the games. Um, that's just the fact. But, like, I always want to do better, like, than I did before or feel, like, a little bit more on it. I definitely think this year was a down year for me in terms of, um... It was definitely a down year in terms of credits, uh... Statistically, that's just true for me. Um, but it's also because I didn't, haven't played as many indie games as I did last year. Because uh, I used to do the Tuesday... Like, back in the day, I was doing, like, the Tuesday charity streams, like, every week. And I would always do... Um, play some indie games. And some of those were so short... That I would roll credits on a lot of games. Okay, let's see. Should I go down here? Let's see what the uh, is this the map? Bear this in mind. Oh, it's like out here. So like, let's go outside and turn around, probably. Really nothing. Yeah, good. Thank God, there's no more games. <laughs> Can catch up on some things. But yeah, I'm gonna um, definitely do some reflection on like how things can be better. Again, it is kind of an effort in futility. I'm never gonna beat everything or play everything or know everything. Um, I think I could be better, even if it's not beating more games, um, or even like, even if I ran this year back, I think just making more content on the games that I played would be an, an improvement. So, yeah, those are things I'm thinking about as we go into the new year. You're all more, across more than most. I do. 
Um, I, I would agree with that. But, like, I want to keep, uh, the legacy alive, you know? Muddy Hand? Everybody's attacking me at once. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Oh, shoot! Oh, no! Roll away! Oh! Damn! I got slapped real bad. Okay, this is kind of cool. Oh, gosh. Oh! Oh! The hand is shooting at me. Oh, I need to ch change these pellets. Let me use, like, the cheapo ones, yeah. This is cool. I'm, I'm vibing with this so far. This is why I'm like, I just want to get a little further in where I can feel like... I'm having more of the core experience and not just, um, you know... Playing the, um... The tutorial. Really opens up if you finish the first questline. Yeah, I imagine so. So we definitely won't get to, like... The most open aspects of the game, but this is just like a, a taste test. You know, demo vibes is usually what we kind of... Can achieve here with the amount of time that we stream on Fridays. Oh no, what happened to me? He hit me. Oh no! Okay, cool. Um, I should not be able to just touch. Yep. Treasure! Hmm, I'm liking the pellets. A uh, question I love asking Twitch streamers, what would your dream video game if you could make it? Oh man, I have this idea. Um, it's dumb because I... So a couple of things. One, I have this idea of like writing out like the best of each thing. Like something like, I'm making this up, but like, because I don't, I don't have to think about it anymore. But like, the open world of Breath of the... I don't think this game would actually be good, because it would just be like a mix of a bunch of crap, and it just wouldn't work together, because that's not how games work. But I'd love to make a list of like, the best things in... across gaming. Like, the open world of Breath of the Wild, the combat of... Uh, freaking Ghost of Tsushima. Again, not literally those games, but I'm just naming games I can think of. The... Weapon variety of destiny, <laughs> like I don't know. Um, again, that would be a crummy game if you just smattered a bunch of things together. For me, um, my dream. So, what would be your dream video game like if you could make it? Honestly, um, oh, you know what? I guess it would be like my current dream game is um, a game like Horizon Forbidden West, but you have a like robot animal farm as well it's like if you added more of monster hunter to horizon like a horizon monster hunter game i think would be my dream right now um that also has like a lot of sim elements where i could like make and dye my own clothes um and like i can cook and i can take care of my uh animals um and i can have like a little uh town and stuff like like animal crossing meets horizon meets monster hunter that's what I want. I want to find a game with superpowers in it. Um, I think you can have that, right? Is that not, uh... What is it? Um, freaking... Was that DC fighting game? Is it not that game? Horizon Monster Hunter Sim. Yes, that is what I want. And every day I wait for them to, to get a little closer. Injustice, yeah. Is that not Injustice? This, uh, you saying that reminds me of, um... The office when Ryan was like, I wish my iPod could make phone calls. No, I don't want an iPhone. I know what that is. I don't, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fortnite RPG, please. Ooh. Like an RPG, like set in the Fortnite world, like with those kind of like skins or stuff, or. Um, if that's the case, you must uh, enjoy like the daily and uh, season quests. Because those kind of have those aspects in a sense. So, like, a wrestling game with superpowers in it. Okay. Well, I will say, um, they're not superpowers, because they're still inherently wrestling moves, but, uh, if WrestleQuest wasn't on your radar yet, it definitely should be. It is a wrestling RPG by Skybound Games, like, is the publisher. I think they're just publishing it. Um, and it's really cool. It's got, like, this great 8-bit art style to it. Oh my god, I was scared. I'm like, do I, like, get fall damage in this? Which way am I going? 
I guess we'll go over here. Which one's closer? Hold on. The 40. Okay, we'll go this one. Using the Fortnite gameplay plus the latest Unreal Engine. There is fall damage. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, we're okay so far, but it might get a little dicey soon. Okay, I think we can move down this way, though. Um, oh, I, thanks. Uh, you're so thoughtful and knowledgeable. Thanks, appreciate it. Um, definitely prefer if- please make your game one day. Oh, I'm not gonna make that shit. <laughs> um, for the record too, definitely prefer like, oh, I love your content instead of like, I love you, but I get, I get what you're trying to get at there and I appreciate it. Um, just to, you know, make sure people don't get weird. But I'm not making that game. Hell no, that sounds fucking so complicated. I don't wanna- I don't wanna do that. I mean, again, maybe one day someone will clip this out and it'll be a joke. But, um, that sounds like hell. Like, can you imagine people being like, Horizon Monster Hunter-like game, da 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 and then there'd be like, uh, this game tries, the motherfuckers would be on podcast, like, this game tries to invoke Horizon, but it just feels, it just feels bad. It just feels like a cheap, <laughs> a cheap knockoff. Um, yeah, I'm not ready for this smoke. That's the thing. And like, hey, I do what I do because I love doing it you know i love being a critic and and i think i am good at it and i work really hard at being better at it and i try to be respectful as i do it however i don't have the desire to do all that work to just suffer janet's horizon two tenths tries to do a lot fails at all of it oh yeah a hundred percent like i don't want to do that um that's so much like that's so rough no thank you Oh no, God, I'm stuck in the mud. Oh, oh my God. Yo, the smoke here is crazy. Let's back up. Let's cool it down. It got too, it got too live. Um, a game I actually do want to make that I would like to make. It's a labor of love. It is, um, and I don't have that love. <laughs> so all I have is labor and I don't, I'm not willing to do it. Um, the world's first game funded entirely through Twitch bits and subs. I mean, I would love to make a game one day. Um, the My idea for a game, like, the, and a game I actually would make, because you asked me, like, what game would I love to exist? Not, like, what I love to make. Well, maybe you can ask me what I love to make. Maybe I can play the question. But for me, um, the game I want to make is I want to make either a walking sim or an I Spy game, or maybe, like, a combo of the two where you are in a super mall and that's the whole idea of the game so far um if you don't know a super mall is kind of like a flea market but and i don't know if like people use the term super mall everywhere or just the midwest or just chicago but like in chicago we have a super mall and uh it has like everything inside of it it's like you can get like tacos and you can get like bootleg soccer jerseys and you can get a back to school bag and a quinceanera dress and a tattoo and your eyebrows done and everything so i would love to and they're so busy and like jam-packed um of a building and of a mall that i think it'd be so fun to like either have a walking sim where you're checking out the stuff or a um a an i spy game because I, I love i spy games um would love to play more of them actually because uh, i played a little bit of um hidden folk but i never beat it would love to finish that off at some point and i played i'm using too many rocks because I'm gonna, I'm gonna run out of rocks soon oh he's so strong um oof i feel like there's another game besides hidden folk that i was gonna play that was like on apple arcade mall cop simulator a swap meet. Yeah, it's kind of like a swap meet, basically. Except, well, a sewer mall isn't a swap meet because you're not like... The swap meet's like where you exchange items, right? Um... But this is like a... It's more of just like a store with like a lot of... There's like a lot of stuff in it. Let's get some shadow. I like how, uh... Close the fire was from all this. Hopefully the enemies don't respawn after you relax. Oh, thank God. Yay. Okay, where are we going? That's 130. There was one that was like really close to me. Here it is. I'm jelly happy indeed. Oh yeah, here we go. By the way, 
No, it's a flea market, but for some reason we always call it that. Oh, okay. Or, uh, Tiangas? Tianguas? Treasure. Um, I did this so far. Again, I, I stand by my... It is fairly simple. Um, I don't think it's, like, blowing anyone's mind right now. But I'm liking it. I'm seeing, like, some of the evolution of the combat being more interesting than it was in those first few encounters. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this so far. I'm guessing it's probably a million hours, uh, so I don't know if we'll see this through, but... Hmm... I feel like Isaiah popped in to see if I was still here. You should do a podcast if you don't already. You have great insights and thoughts. Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, I have done a podcast before. I tried doing... Oh, a long time ago, I did Game Master's Daily, which is a daily news show. Then I did, um... Freaking Game Master's Weekly, which is a weekly news show, but they were both, like, really hard to maintain. Um, and they ate up a lot of my time, and I, at a certain point, I stopped enjoying doing them, in a sense. Um, though I learned a lot by doing them, and I liked kind of keeping up with news. Um, I think if I do a podcast again, it'll be more evergreen-based, and more of, like, a chill cadence, so that I don't overwhelm myself and, and burn out on my own project. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, I did, many moons ago, on my YouTube channel, I had my, uh, drunk spoiler cast, and I think... That format could be fun for a show. So we'll see on that, but... But also, I'm like, I want to think about how exactly I want to couch it, because I don't want it to be like, oh, you got a drink to be on the show. So I want to, I probably want to name it something a little differently. But the idea is, like, you know, drinking's welcome, and you can kind of hang out, and, like, we're chilling. Kind of, like, bar conversation vibes of, like, deep diving into a game. No, <laughs> that's going opposite direction. Wrong direction. Uh, can we get possibly where you review dope ass hats like the ones that you're wearing? <laughs> the Santa hat? Um, no, but I'm sure I could do some TikToks with some things. I just want to do more of everything. I want just more, more content. I'm not doing enough content. A lot of people are like, wow, you do a lot. I'm like, I don't think I'm doing enough. Oh my God, Badoof hat. Okay, I've been waiting for this. Badoof hat on the Santa hat. It's going to be pretty epic. Oh, let me text Isaiah that in probably in like seven minutes, I'll do my break in my switch. Um, oh, let's get the hat. It's Badoof hat time. Yo, homie, what's up, Craig? How's it going? <clears throat> Cheers, right on. I do have quite- I did become kind of a hat streamer, and I don't know how that happened. Look at how cute this is. <gasps> okay, we'll fix the camera. That's adorable, look at this. Oh, Christmas Badoof! Oh gosh, hold on. Oh man. This is almost too good. Give me a second. Look at that. Can you get a smaller Santa hat that you will... Over the big ones, like uh, the Russian nesting dolls. I, lo I love a set of Russian nesting dolls. I... maybe. <laughs> I'll say maybe, I don't know. Um... Ooh, Jordan Ojevic says, good day. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Hold on. I feel like my lips got chapped from just existing. Give me a second. I need to get my story straight. I definitely could use some recovery from the Game Awards. It was a lot of, uh, a lot of social stimulation, a decent amount of drinks, and not much food. Like, it was just kind of a lot. I, need, I needed, like, a reset. And this week- this weekend's a little busy for me, so I don't know how much I'll, like, be chilling. Because I want to go to, um... There's a roller rink that's having a Christmas skate thing, so I want to go to that. Oh no, am I gonna die? Oh, he can swim! Okay. No! No, the baby, no! Please let him come back up. Oh no. What's gonna happen to us? Oh no! 
Oh, oh, they keep spawning into the water. Oh gosh. Okay. Love the big ridiculous hats. Yeah, me too. All right, all right. Again, I'm losing track of where we're going. It was like a foot away from me. Okay, let's just... Where was this supposed to be at? Oh, it wasn't shown on the map. Wait, what am I like? Did I already do it and I just like forgot because I was like chilling? I just saw the bridge in Force Spoken and there was no way back up in the fast travel. Did I already get the other thing I needed? Am I like forgetting where I've been? Maybe. Roll away, roll away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got um. This will teach you not to fall off the bridges. <laughs> yeah, it's all part of the tutorial. Oof. Oh, back up. Oh. Oh! Oh! All right. Well, I guess I can look at my... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so wait, on my quest... Yeah, I got the royal so I got the royal soil. That's so hard to say. How do you think um how do you think the award show did as far as lane and pacing? Um I think it still needs to be shorter and I think um it did drag in some sections. But I will say my bias is that I'm sure it dragged in stuff during like the games I was less into type of thing. Like, I'm sure if they showed something that I was into, I, like, nothing would drag because I would just be excited about it. Really? Why not? Oh, because I'm crouched. Put the volume down a little bit. I, like, cranked it up really loud to go through the Bidoof hat, but that wasn't that necessary. So Isaiah responded. Oh, okay. He's done. He's done wrapping my gifts. Okay. Oh, let's stand up. Release the gifts for now. I'm almost done wrapping his stuff as well, so. Jelly happy indeed. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The Royal Soil sounds like the Queen's personal time. It does, kind of, doesn't it? Just have like a euphemism energy to it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, we're gonna back, 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 back. Okay. Okay, great. What'd you get him? I can't tell you that because it's a surprise. And he could hear me, he could watch this, someone could troll me and tell him his gift. Um, but I'll, I'll, I could probably tell you guys afterwards. They're, it's like just regular, reg regular nifty gifties. Hey, uh, is it Seanahue? I would tell Isaiah. A Tesla. Oh, he already has a Tesla. A Tesla for his Tesla. A small Tesla to keep on his desk. No, that would actually be awesome. I should look into that if <laughs> they have that. Um, you got it right. Okay, awesome. Thank you for the confirmation. Welcome in. A baby Tesla, a little Tesla. Oh my gosh, it's so scary to be in this water. Shout out to a game that lets you swim, though. It's, I know it's a lot of work to make swimming happen in games, so I appreciate. I appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed. Okay, let's back up. Let's back up, back up, back up. We're just gonna let them take it, yeah. Y'all seem like you're doing a good job. The has been scouted. Let's go for all these battles, because... Why not? Back, 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 back. No, he's healing or something. Snack attack? Oh god, get out of the way! <laughs> Oh, man. That was quite a lot. Alright. Yeah. 
I would love to get more over my RPG aversions of like the game length. You know, it's just so intimidating to me. Uh, love hearing you on PS. I love you. Thanks. You're a great addition to Kind of Funny Family. It's my first time catching one of your streams, though. Well, I appreciate you being here. Uh, we'll be live for another about hour and a half. So yeah, feel free to hang out, ask questions, lurk, chill, however you want to be here. Uh, but yeah, this is my best of 2022 watch stream where we play the latest games in search of the greatest games of the year. And uh, pretty much every week, every Friday, it means a new game or a new set of games. I usually try to keep it to one to two games because I find doing any more than that can be tough to get a feel for the games. Um, and even like I was saying earlier, something like this, the nature of the genre, it takes so long to like really get going in an RPG like this. Um, that two hours with an RPG goes a lot less far than two hours with like Need for Speed. Um, fun, fun. Have you played? No, I've not played uh, Dragon Quest before. The only thing I've done is I've done a little bit of, like, a tiny bit of Builders, and I was like, this seems interesting, and I think my sister-in-law was pretty into Dragon Quest Builders for a while. Um, and I played this game, Dragon Quest Treasures, for a preview when I did, um, a set of previews with Square. It was like this Crisis Core and Star Ocean. Um, and I liked my preview time with it, so that's definitely what kind of put it on the radar for me. Um... And, and just having heard that, like, a lot of these Dragon Quest spin-off games are actually really solid. Um, and I'm enjoying this so far. It's, it's pretty good. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's up. Hmm. Wait a minute. I know you. The premise of this game is just the blue-haired dude going around committing acts of murder. Uh, he's a treasure... He's a treasure hunter, excuse you. So it's his sister. They're trying to get the stones to help their whimsical creatures. And the pals leave me along the way. You're looking for the Sylvanian stockage. Uh, who did you say you were? I huh. Captain Levante. Leader of the Sylvanian expedition. We're treasure hunters. Okay, liberating art are half the Oh god, no. We're kind of like the Nathan Drake of Dragon Quest. Um, we've come to the right place. I command the very finest treasure hunters Sylphania has to offer. You're a treasure hunter yourself, if I recall correctly, though obviously not in the same league as us. I've always been into the uh, Toriyama art style, though. Uh, yeah, I think it, it suits the game really well. Um, before I'm playing on Switch, it's only available on Switch. Um, you're here looking for treasure, aren't you? That's right. Performance-wise, I'm, I'm pretty content with this. Uh, I wish it was a little bit sharper uh, in that it leaned a little bit less into the... Uh, I might be misspeaking on the terminology, but kind of like that draw distance trick of like how blurred the stuff is until you get closer. Like, I'd like to see a little bit more de... a little bit more sharpness and a little bit more detail in the area would be good. Uh, let me see the joke out of my hands. Tell me how to think Drake, yeah. But other than that, like, I'm pretty content with it. Um, got any Sanguinite? And right now we're collecting things to like make the I think make make the train like able to run um, across to different regions. This stuff's pretty worthless as treasure goes. We sort of picked up some of our travels, but we got ours on bigger bigger prizes. We didn't ask for your opinion. We asked if you can tell us where some is. I have a feeling young Gail might have picked up some. She's a new addition to our team, but she's got talent. She'll make a fine treasure hunter one day. One day, she should be around here somewhere. Ask her nicely, and she might give you some of the that sanguinite. You know, you and your sister have got a lot of talent, but you're a bit rough around the edges. Come and see me once this errand of yours is done and dusted. I'll give you a lesson or two in proper treasure hunting. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little bit further, uh, mostly because I still have the Badoof Hat Redemption on. Um, what slime is it? Hmm, where, who are you? You lost? This is the Sylphanian Stockade. It's not a playground, you know, so get lost. He went from are you lost to get lost really fast. Oh, I'm trying to talk to- I thought I could talk to the slime. I do like the little, um, emojis over their head to kind of just either preview, like, their mood or give you a sense of the conversation. Did you hear about the kerfuffle? Um, hey, thanks for the, uh, hydrate, uh, Funky Gouda. You're such a little dude. He's so small. These children are so small. 
The slurping of the slimes is is a bit um it's a, it's a visceral sound. <laughs> Just between you and me, they say Captain Levantar has got some history with silver bones. Short king. <laughs> Yeah, can you? I don't, I don't think you can be a short king when you're a little, little child. He's just like a small boy. But look, is he like the smallest child in the world, or is this like a fairly big box? Like, what's going on here? There's something so satisfying about breaking things, or like dig like doing like basic stuff, breaking things, digging stuff up. Yeah, short prince. That just never gets old in a game for me. Like, I love doing that stuff. Um, I played a bit of Sonic Frontiers off stream, so I wanted to finally play that game. And er early ish on, you get an ability where you can, like, like do a run in a circle that, like, brings rings out of the ground and other materials. And I was, like, doing that everywhere. I was just, like, obsessed with getting, like, all these rings. Um, all right. Well, who's this? Drang? Are we fighting this guy? Is he, like, no, he's a friend. Just kidding. I forgot that he was in our party. The knife is half his size. Ah, uh, it's like a- oh, actually, damn. It's at least a third his size. Jolly good kerfuffle, this game is giving me new vocab. It's such a, like, a charming little vibe. That kid Cannonball, thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it. Oh, how- I miss dear old Sylphania. A girl can't even treat herself to a hot bath around these parts. What's Sylphania? Oh, it's just the most wonderful place. The scenery is spectacular and the cuisine's to die for. It's chock full of treasure, too. Um, it's a place where humans and monsters live side by side in harmony. In fact, sometimes the monsters are in charge of the humans. Take our very own Captain Levanter, for example. Jan, what was your personal game of the year and why was it Stray? <laughs> uh, God of War for sure. God of War Ragnarok. Um, it's like one of the only things I'm super set on. Um, for my top 10 of the year, I, I still have to reevaluate that for my site to Pentapixels and then also for, um, uh, kind of funny stuff. I'm scared. Oh! Okay, no, he's he's okay. He just wants apples. Uh, are you gonna do kind of funny game of the year and stuff? Um, I'm not sure yet, you know? Uh, we haven't really hashed out all the details. But, you know, if you stay ready, you're gonna get ready. Um, and even if I'm not doing kind of funny stuff, like if that doesn't end up panning out, because I'm not sure how they're gonna set it up with, like, them having the studio, if they're gonna do a hybrid thing, if they're just gonna go all in studio um, for the games cast, but... Either way, I also have, like, min-max, to, which is kind of really quickly. Um... Do -do -do. Mm -hmm. What slime is it? Oh. Here's our pal! New best friend! I remember you, we met uh, on the snouter horn. It was Eric, right? Ahem. He isn't the only one here, you know? Who's your monster friend? She's very unusual. My name's Persola, and I'll have you know that I'm not a monster. Anyway, Eric, do you remember me? I'm Gail. I may be young, but I'm a fully fledged member of the Sylphanian treasure hunting team. I'm still moving slowly through God of War. I'm doing the side quest based on your rec questions. What? Your rec. Questions was the whale turtle thing a side thing? It seemed like it uh, mainline. Oh, okay, that's a good question. I'm gonna say short answer yes. Um, long answer is I actually I think the answer is just yes because I remember that being like a side quest, like it's labeled a side quest. So I don't think you need to do it to progress at all. Um, and yeah, so I'm I'm pretty proud that that's just a side quest. What are your personal thoughts on? What was your personal process when it comes to God of War versus Elden Ring? Um, honestly, I had it easy because I didn't really play Elden Ring that much. Elden Ring's not a for me game, and to be clear, because I talk about this all the time, like people will often say, you know, I'll say like a game maybe isn't that good or is kind of like mid in some sections or maybe whatever. Like I'll have criticisms. Uh, Sean, you thanks for the sub with Prime. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, we're halfway to the uh, the daily subs goal that unlocks the trophy hunt so if i get 10 subs total today uh before the stream ends i will add on some extra time to the stream and uh get a trophy some trophy from somewhere could take five minutes could take 50 minutes um i probably would go and check out astrobot um astro's playroom because i have not gotten that platinum yet and i'd like to um yeah so for me like if it's a game that like i can wrap my head around and play like stuff like even though i don't hate Uncharted, but you know, Uncharted for an example. 
um, this game, you know? I may not be an RPG expert and I'm very uh, transparent about my background in RPGs, but I feel like I know enough to discuss this game and, and totally have a, a valid opinion on it. Um, if it's a game like that, I just give my opinion. It's that's the end, you know? Um, a game like Elden Ring is out of my wheelhouse, so like, I felt like I was in, I was not enjoying it. That's not to say that it's not a great game, but like I could tell that like I don't really have a lot to say here. I don't think me not enjoying it means the game is bad or says anything about the game. It just seems like this is not my taste. So those are the games that I put into the it's not for me bucket. Um, one frustration I have like in this field is so often people will say oh like why don't you just say the game isn't for you or like not every game is going to be for you it doesn't mean it's bad it's like when i come out and i have criticisms of a game that is me already about taking it through the lens of like do i have the background knowledge to be able to have to form an opinion a meaningful opinion on this game um and if the answer is yes i'll go on shows and if i feel like i need to contextualize like something like this i might say i've never played dragon quest before da 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 i don't play a whole lot of rpgs outside of you know pokemon's one of my big ones that i i dig into you know um so yeah kind of a long-winded answer but that's that's why i didn't have to think about elden rings i'm like oh i didn't even play it so i i can't vote for a game that i never played like i believe people when they say it's amazing because everyone does and they seem to know what they're talking about and they have backgrounds in, in souls games but uh for me uh it's not it's not for me uh side quest ash is great where did Forbidden West... I think Forbidden West is probably going to be a number two for me. Um, but I'm still just not sure on, like, my overall ranking. Um, I think Ali Ali World might still be up there really high for me. Full disclosure, I did do consulting on that game. One of the few consulting games that I get to share that I consulted, because usually that stuff's very NDA'd. Uh, it's the best way to make sure you find lots of great stuff. So it's all about teamwork. Thorik, what are you doing here? I'm looking for treasure. I see. I'm looking for treasure. It was sanguinite, you say? Well, you're in luck. I'm not about to give away my hard earned sanguinite like that. Hey, I know. Why don't you. Why don't our monsters battle? Wow. Oh. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's, like. Um. If you like cats, uh, it'll be. Yeah, I like, Stray I like Stray a lot. I don't know if someone asked, like, should they play Stray? Stray's a great game. Like, I reviewed it on Pen to Pixels if you want to read more of my thoughts um, on that game, which I think, is it this? Is this going to do it? Yeah. If, if you go to the Reviews tab, I think it's a tab, or the drop down, it'll it'll be in there. Um, which I think I give that, a, that game a 4 out of 5, I think. I'd have to go back and double check the score, but I'm pretty sure that's what I gave it. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's fight, why not? Bring it on. I don't know what this is going to be. I didn't vibe with Stray. I could see that. I could see that. To get the... F to get to the flag, though... Gang warfare. Oh my god. Th what is going on? It begins a battle against a rival treasure hunting team. Pull their flag out of the ground to sit clinch victory. To get to the flag, you either have to defeat the enemies or find your way through them. Okay. Can they get to my flag first? Do I need to be concerned about that? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh! I'm just gonna run for it. Why not? Why are we out here... Oh, we got a whole- Oh my god, no, it takes so long! Oh, so this is the hack. Oh no. Oh no, oh, we're not gonna make it. Oh god. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to- We're gonna have to actually fight. Oh my gosh. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, roll away. Roll away, roll away. Man, this Pebble doesn't- Pebble doesn't do anything. Roll away, roll away. Okay, let's try now. Shoot. Oh yeah, well, they're all dead now, right? That's cute. I like that. That's like a. That's, that's kind of creative. Uh, it's a shame. I understand some games we just can't get into. Um, into like books. You don't have a great mind for games. I appreciate that. Yeah, maybe one day. Um, life's long, you know. I've played some Souls stuff before, like, y'all infamously took me through Demon Souls, and I Gosh. did get some enjoyment out of that, like, I did have fun in the process, and we had some great victories and some funny moments, but it's like, without y'all, I would just not be able to do that game, so, it, it's just like a, 
And even playing it, like, I had a hard time really, like, understanding what I was experiencing, in a sense. Um, how's this game? I just got a physical copy. Nice! I wanted to get a physical, too. I just, I got too lazy to go to the store today, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm enjoying it so wow. far. Very chill. Has some cool systems. I'm liking going around the world. I like the traversal. I like the treasure hunting. Um, combat has... It's a, it's a little... It's lightly stiff. It's not too stiff, but, like, it's definitely a bit slow, um, and you only have, like, out the gate, like, two types of things you can do, and I don't, I don't know if that evolves. Y'all can tell me in the chat. It's not, I don't mind the, the spoiler of the mechanic. Um, you have, like, your knife and your, like, little slingshot. Um, but, I, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'd like to stick with it, but at the same time, it's such a busy time. Like, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. It's, it's pretty chill. Like, the time kind of flew by playing this, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying it. I don't think it's gonna l set anyone's world on fire, but it it has that like coziness to it that I, that I kind of look for sometimes in games. The next game I'm looking forward to, I'm glad you asked. I actually did, I think, have this one written down somewhere. Let me see if I can pull it up. I'm, I believe my next, even if you go back to the same place, there are no getting twos, there be a same one. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, like I think, this is cool. It's like definitely like seven to eight is kind of the vibe out of 10. Again, I'm not actually reviewing this game right now because like I only played a couple hours of it, but that's kind of where I'd maybe put it, where it's like, yeah, this is this is cool. I like it. Um, could it go higher? I think it could, genuinely. Like, I'm not sure what other ideas they have in store or how they're gonna set things up. Um, but right now I'm, I'm happy with my time with it. Uh, I actually did just buy this game. I didn't get a code. Cool with my purchase. Like it's, it's, a, it's a good game. It feels like a good game so far. Very solid. Uh, if it doesn't set my world on fire as a positive. Um, the next game I'm looking forward to is technically Crisis Core. Again, I don't know how much time we'll have to dig into it. And that, that I probably won't do on stream because even though it is a new game, it's like a remake of an old game. And it's very much directly a remake, unlike Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I don't think I'll do that for next week, but we'll see. There might not be anything else to play. And then um, I got to double check if this is still coming out. Let me look it up right now because I'm excited about it. Swordship. Um, I only played a few minutes of this at PAX, at PAX West. Oh, did it come out already? I had I had the date down. Oh, what the heck? It already freaking came out. Well, never mind. Um, I guess they moved up the date because initially this date was set for December 25th. Um, apparently this game came out December 5th. Um, it is it's on steam it's on switch it's on ps5 oh it's on ps5 i might get it on ps5 then um from my time playing it it's like a, a dodging arcadey game where you're like delivering cargo um man that's like i wish there was an easy way to like keep track of all this stuff because yeah I, did, I had no idea the date changed i just had it in my calendar as the 25th and i guess it's not that anymore so maybe just crisis core might be the last one of the year, but let me know if there's anything else coming out this year that I should be paying attention to. I guess so. The game is called Swordship. Now again, this one I only played like definitely less than five minutes of. Um, yeah, I, I found it at PAX West. Um, huh? And uh, I, I enjoyed my uh, moment with it. It has a really like fun art style to it. Uh, I don't feel like pulling up a trailer, but I do want to like pull it up to kind of describe it. Oh here, I'll, re I'll read you guys the thing off Steam. So this was uh, published by Thunderful. Uh, developed by Digital Kingdom, and Swordship is a futuristic, lightning-fast dodge -em up which flips the script on traditional arcade shooter. Turn both the tide of battle and enemies on themselves by dodging, weaving, and diving your way. Duck, dive, dodge <laughs> your way through an onslaught of enemies. Hellbent on tearing your sword apart. Um, I am hoping, like, fingers crossed, that this has, like, some difficulty settings to it. Uh, just because when I played it at PAX, it was quite hard. Um... But I, I was enjoying it. I thought this one was kind of fire. Uh, right now, it's sitting at a positive on Steam. 16 reviews only. Definitely a smaller title. Uh, on Google, it's like at an... Uh, well, I guess on Steam, 8 out of 10 is like the average rating. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think at least uh, take a look at the Steam page. Take a look at the the store page. It There's a demo available on Steam. I don't know if there's demos on other platforms. The game is um, 20 bucks. But it's on well, $19.99, but it's on sale for $17.99 until December 12th. So uh, I'll just toss the link in the chat. Even though this is the link to the Steam page, it also has like Switch, Xbox, um, 
PlayStation. Sorry, like my brain broke for a second. You did it. This is worth remembering. Hmm. A fortune finder. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Now, where could that be? That's so cool. Look how cute that is. Too far. Okay. Is there like a save, like a manual save? Options. Save. Oh my god. We hadn't saved this entire game. That's that's stressful. Two and a half hours of playtime, and uh, this was Dragon Quest Treasures. Um, quick recap. It's my first Dragon Quest game that I'm really digging into. Only played a few minutes of uh, Builders back in the day. I'm enjoying it. It's, uh, it's cute. It's kind of cozy. You are a brother and sister uh, hunting treasure. You got some magical little pals. You have a party of different monsters. The biggest con of this game, uh, as I've mentioned already, is the combat does feel a little bit stiff. Like the way that you like the process of like hitting and rolling. Um, it's a little bit. Um, oh, when you said hadn't saved, I like resaved again because then I'm like, wait, did it not go through? Um, yeah, it was wild that I hadn't saved this entire time. It was two hours. I thought it was auto saving, but it was not. So it, you need to hit save. Uh, make sure you save the game if you're going to play it. Um, but yeah, the biggest con, like I said, is the, the combat doesn't feel super compelling yet, but we're also still only two and a half hours in to what is probably a pretty lengthy game. Um, so yeah, I like it. I feel like what you see is very much what you get. So I think if you watch this and you were interested in it, chances are you will probably be enjoying it if you were to pick it up. Um, let me see if it has the How Long to Beat up yet. Okay. I think it's only, uh, it doesn't have the data yet, but I think... And that's at 12 hours, but that was not true. Oh, main story takes 30 hours. Okay, that's not awful. That's not awful. Um, takes Dragon Quest Treasure main story takes 30 hours. It is Switch only. Uh, I think it runs fine on Switch. I don't really have any qualms about it. Um, doesn't have stuttering or anything like that. I do wish there was like maybe more environmental details, but here, I'll just do a shot of the actual thing. Like, I wish it was a little sharper. Um, I don't know how much it comes across on camera, but I feel like like the details of this kid's face from this angle are a little like like leave a little leave a little something to be desired. Like I feel like it's a little blurry almost. But generally like the slimes look great. Um it's just kinda like the further stuff away is it's gonna be like a little bit like less refined. Also, did I not get this thing when I I have to figure out why I didn't get that yet? Um, does it look better handheld? That's a good question. I don't know if it does. I guess I could li I'll lift it out when I'm about to transition over and let you know. Well, let me just lift it out now because I can just we can just finish this now. Um, a little bit. It I do feel like it actually looks a little bit better, but again, I don't think it looks bad generally. Uh, like, I wouldn't personally characterize it as like, oh, it, it looks a little bit rough. Like, that wouldn't be my first comment on it. But it is a general comment I do have. Excellent job, Jan. Thanks for your insights. Of course, Dragon Quest, my favorite franchise ever. So I'm excited for this. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Definitely, again, if you're looking to get it and you're on the fence, um, hopefully this stream helped you uh, decide that for yourself. I'm enjoying it so far. I think review-wise, it's doing pretty decent. Um, I'm curious, what is the Metacritic? Because I actually did consider picking this up in Fantasy Critic, but then I was like, ah, I don't know if it's really gonna hit that well. And then also I felt like it was a little, mm, cause I did the preview, even though like, we never established how we were gonna go about all that. And like, it, we'll, we'll reset those rules for next year, but um, it has a 76, 77 on Metacritic. It definitely does feel like a seven or an eight kind of game to me in these opening hours. Again, that could dip down, uh, that could go up depending on how they, you know, evolve their systems. Um, did, you inside trade on this. Oh, like the um, for the fancy critic? Uh, probably not, right? Let's see. What else do we got? Yep, switch only. Oh, and then Jay Rockoff says, I'm actually really excited for the new Assassin's Creed game. I haven't been excited uh, for one in years. But they said this one is going to return to the older forms. Uh, that was DQ tact. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piece it together. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and take our break. Uh, of, it's funny because then he like, did his little relaxation. Uh, animation uh, i'm gonna take my break for about like five minutes plus or minus you know use the bathroom things like that um and then when i get back we're gonna be playing um jelly car worlds uh which i'll talk more about what that game is 
uh, which spoilers it is available on Switch and also Apple Arcade, uh, which is cool. I didn't know it was coming to Apple Arcade. So uh, hang tight. Uh, in the meantime, you can enjoy the chair string and the song Shub as composed by my brother. And I will be back in five minutes plus or minus depending. So hang tight. All right, we're back from our little intermission, and now we're here to play Jelly Car Worlds. Uh, this was originally a Flash game back in the day that then kind of got now a full-fledged release and moment. It came out uh, literally like today slash yesterday. Uh, how did you make overlay? Oh, man, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> Seanahue. Uh, the overlay uh, is made by Isaiah. He designed this thing that the working title is going to be Hosted Overlay, where he made me... What would you say you made me? Like, when I go to host an overlay, like, what, where am I going? What is that? It's a website? A web app for... For cloud overlay. Okay. So, what it looks like on my end is it looks like a website where I can... I can adjust, like, the... I can't point all the way up, but where it says Best of 2022, that's the stream title. I adjust that. I can change what this says. Um just a whole bunch of stuff um before i had isaiah's help with this configuration like isaiah designed this for me and i just changed the colors on that website um again super customizable really cool i hope he continues with it and i think eventually he still does want to make it like open to anybody like any streamer could make an account and like anyone could have basically like this overlay that i have right here um but before that um God, i did a bunch of stuff i probably used um one thing I'd recommend for you starting out, I really like, um, what is it called? It's called, um, I have to like click on it now. Stream Elements. Um, they have a bunch of like different widgets and tools. So I need to get an Isaiah. Uh, getting an Isaiah helps your life a lot. I'm not gonna lie y'all, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Worth, uh, everything. Time, treats, just whatever, whatever it takes. Uh, Isaiah's awesome. He's like super talented, super smart. Thank God he's on our side, right, people? I mean, this could have gone a lot worse. But yeah, he's, I mean, he's super capable, so he can like make crazy shit. Um, time to come to Minneapolis instead of my stream. He works for treats. I feel like to a degree he'd, he'd work for treats. Yeah, I could, I could give him some McDonald's and he'd probably, he'd probably help me out with something. He'd probably help me out without that as well, but I have to talk to my wife first. <laughs> yeah, that that could get tricky. I mean, um, I'm sure she has Isaiah qualities. I would I would hope. I would assume. Um, but yeah, I think if you're just getting started, um, Stream Elements is a great one for. They have like pre-made overlays that you could just add in. And frankly, I think their overlays kind of like work the way Isaiah's does with the whole like it being kind of hosted online. Uh, let me know if it's too loud or too um, if. You want the music higher than the sound effects or anything. It does have a very like derpy soundtrack. Okay, hold on. Let's see, we're flipping the car. Oh my gosh, let me go. Sounds good, okay, great. Or if it's too quiet, because I turned it down a lot because I'm like, oh, it was way too loud. Okay, use the R drive forward. And then the end of each level is just like getting to this little stop sign. Boing. 
All right, there we go. And they have like L for the quick reset and stuff. So there's like a number of things that I I was drawn to when I played this at PAX. Um, God, at this point, like how many months ago was that? Coming okay, like four or five. Uh, oh, the sound effects are just got yeah. Like, well, I don't know how he made it. I'd have to ask him. Um, but they do have that like homemade sound to that. Like, it doesn't mean that he like didn't use software because I've I've known sound designers who do like the kind of like mouth sound design stuff. But they might they're probably still running it through software, manipulating it. Uh, do I use a play? Okay, so yeah, it was a flash game. Um, I don't know if it was ever a mobile game. I just don't remember. Um, but yeah, this is like kind of the full, the full thing. Um, and one thing I've liked about, you know, just talking to the developer, uh, like Wallabear or Wallaber is like the name of the studio or the developer or whatever. Um, is he just seems like really on it with like his social media hustle of the game, like his, um, taking in feedback. Like we, we played, uh, the game at PAX, like maybe the second to last day of, of the show. And he's like, oh, I like watching all these people play. I've already adjusted the build like five times on you know based on feedback and making sure it was challenging but like enjoyable for people um and that's what i like about this game um so far and from my time with it like it's it's tough but it doesn't feel like trolly levels of difficult let me see if i can get over this hold on hold on hold on hold on can i just flip can i just oh there we go um, and that's what I look for in a wonky physics game. Like, I want some level of achievability. I don't want to feel like I'm just fighting in the game to get through it. Have you seen anything about Little Gator Game? I haven't seen two... I think they they might have codes out to, like, people. Or they might be, like, heading into that cycle. Because I feel like I might have seen a call out, like, Hey, are you... Like, what... You know, like, come play our game type thing. Um, December 14th is when the game comes out, according to their Twitter... Uh, you can pre-order it now on Steam and Switch. Um, oh god, is that really five days away? Jeez, that's so soon. Is it five days away? Is that how time works? I guess that is the 14th. Holy cow. Um, yeah, yeah, the pre-order is 30% off. So, um, it looks cool. I'm excited to play it. Um, alright, here we go. Wow. Wow. Let me back up. Wait, no, did I do three? I don't think I did three. I think I did one, two. Um, I think you can also like make your own tracks in this game. Like you can customize the car in all these funky ways. Okay, let's see. Come on. Oh, there we go. But yeah, it's cute. It's it's all jelly, and it does it does remind me of Snare Clips as well. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh no. Okay. Kind of like sound like a uh, scorpion. Right? Oh, something else that's cool about this game um, is uh, there's an option I think to turn off the the effects that are in the background. Like they kind of jiggle a little bit, um, but that kind of like can be uh, disruptive for some people. Okay, how am I gonna get up here? Okay, we gotta figure something out. It's the squid, yeah, the squiggle vision. Oh, you know what? I think I was supposed to go up this ramp. Okay, here we go, here we go. Wait, did I not? I thought I... Oh, oh, like the end of World 1. Okay, now I understand, now I understand. Let me back up. Um, I think something else that appealed to me about this game, just from like my own taste perspective, is seeing the like compression of the car specifically when you're going down like a pipe or something it reminds me of a uh, loco roco and i thought that was like such a fun part of that game oh my gosh now i gotta go back let's go back up top then we'll try to just gun it okay i actually might myself i would like to see this this maybe one down and this like one up so let's have rotate the car. Oh, you can do it. You can do motion controls. Backgrounds on. Hand drive has. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go go. Go 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 go. 
Wow. Is this going on the game of the year list? Probably not. If I'm being for my top ten, um, I don't think so. I feel like I'm. There's some really, really good games that came out this year. Um, for me, I, I kind of have like some ideas of my top ten already, but I'm kind of trying to figure out like how some of these land, or also how some of these games that uh, I don't, um, I haven't fully seen through. How that might change my opinion on them. So things like Citizen Sleeper. Ooh, cute. It's like a little elevator here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, 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 no. No! Let me just restart. Okay. I do love an easy restart. Um, I would eventually though, for like uh Pen of Pixels, I'd like to make more space for talking about games I like that just aren't in my top 10 throughout the year. Uh, it's a lot easier to get in my top 10 when the year just first starts because sometimes there's only 10 games that I have played, so that's a nice time where I can like highlight stuff that I think is cool but just isn't like a top 10 for me. Um, so I'd like to make more space for that to happen. Because, you know, I, ha I have reviews, I have those lists, but I feel like a lot of games get... Um, that don't don't hit either of those two categories, but are still ones that I feel like are cool to talk about or that people might want to know about. Oh no no no, no! Wow. Oh, can I just reland back where I was? Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, this little area reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Island. The little uh, elevators, the little platforms. I'm not gonna make it back up here though. I don't think. Do I want to just restart? I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart. All right, let's go. Okay, I go. Okay, goes. Oh no no no! Okay, let's see. Let's see. All right. I think I messed up with the elevator part, or like the uh, drawbridge. Okay, okay. This is cute and gross. <laughs> yeah, the so the the sounds. Okay, hold on, no, no, no. I'm not the biggest fan of the sound design. I just generally don't like. Uh... Oh no, 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 that hole made sound as much. And I might still pitch it down a little bit, but uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I like this game a lot. I was really excited to see it finally get a release. Okay, here we go. Whoop. Yeah, like, let me go one more down. Maybe even two more down. Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on. Oh, God, no, 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 not yet. No, no, go, go, go. Uh, but yeah, eight bucks on uh, Steam and Switch and uh, free with Apple Arcade. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jelly car worlds. Okay. It's the Jelly Carl's world. We're just living in it. You can also skip levels, which I think is, is pretty cool. But yeah, for a game like this, and this is what I mean by like, it's not going to take us long to like see the all the moving parts of this, right? Um, but where the... Oh yeah, I can get these like as little collectibles though too. I kind of want those. Let me try to go back and see if I can... Can I just speed up and... Though there is one, at least one more thing that we haven't encountered yet that I'm excited to uh, show y'all because it's pretty fun. All right, let's zoop this way. Oh, check it out, Arcade. Yeah, yeah, I think, it's, I think it would be a really nice fit for that platform. Definitely one of my regrets of the year is not digging more into Apple Arcade and more into mobile games. But again, there's like... So, there's so much stuff to do. Like, with everything I do, I can't help but think of all these stuff that, like, I didn't get to and that, like, I want to get to. But, you know, you try to do a little better every year, and some processes will hopefully get, uh, more streamlined. And hopefully that'll free up more my- a little bit more time to do cool stuff. Okay. I think I can just- Oh no, I almost had it. Hold on, hold on. Let me just- let me just go around. Let me just- it's fine. This is just go the intended way. I wonder offhand how many worlds there are. Here we go. Okay. Okay. 
Here we go, here we go. I don't think you're ready for this show. Okay. All good. We love not dying. Uh, what's going on, y'all? What's up, uh, Good Game Geo? How's it going? Uh, we're here. It's Best of 2022 Watch, where we're playing the latest games, which is the greatest games of the year. And today we're playing Jelly Cart Worlds after having played, um, what do we play? We played Dragon Quest Treasures. Uh, Dragon Quest Treasures, super solid. Uh, I enjoyed my time with it. Oh, no, I didn't go fast enough. I enjoyed my time with it. Um, hold on. Oh, oh, there's this too. Oh no, I have to pick. I have to pick a spot. Hey, give me a second. Give me a second. Oof. Maybe the opposite way. Oh no. Is this on all consoles? It is only on um, Switch, PC, and Apple Arcade. I mean, port to PlayStation though, right? Because the Platinum on this would probably be super fun to do. Or ridiculously hard. There's no in between. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh. Oh, great. Boom. We did it. Okay, um... I also love a, a cute little overworld moment where you're kind of pl it's like the overworld is a little level. Oh, I think I'm missing something actually. Cuz I wonder if I need to get to more spots to like unlock more items that I can use like power up items or if they're going to or if they're going to unlock automatically. Okay, here we go. Uh, they add a new mode for Salmon Run in Splatoon 3. Pure Chaos, I love it. Ooh! What's the uh, new mode? Is this the Big Run thing? Or what's Big Run? I like didn't- I haven't been following the Big Run discourse of like, people being like, Big Run's coming, blah blah. It's only this place for games like this as well as uh, the AAA giants of the world. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, like sometimes the most fun I have is in these like random indie games I can pick up. And like, I miss- checking out more of them like I used to do that so much more with um my Tuesday stream which like I'd love to revisit that kind of idea again at some point oh oh no 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 I, I should have decided something I should have decided something okay okay let's back up back up back up back up pause in the middle there we go okay go go go, go. oh shoot stop stop okay here we go here we go Okay, here we go. All right, we're rolling. We're rolling. Where is the end? I'm just, I'm just assuming it's here. I don't actually know. Oh, great, great, great. Wait, this is the wrong one. This one's empty already. Around me, sorry, Burnout Paradise. Yeah, you know, I, I should play Burnout Paradise just on behalf of like blessing. You know. He's always talking about it. I've never played the Burnout games. Okay. Alright, here we go. Jelly car. Reach. Oh, but in world one. Okay. Like, I'm just like in level one, right? Oh, hold on. I meant to hit pause. World map? But then I'll take me back to the world map, right? Also, what's cars? Oh, I have to unlock these other shapes. Wow. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. These are always tough. I feel like every game has some configuration of this, like, looping circle, especially like platformers. This is kind of like a wonky physics car platformer. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. But where am I gonna go next? Oh shoot, I didn't think about it, I didn't think about it, I didn't think about it. Oh, it worked! Okay, oh my god. I thought I had to go all the way around. Um, it's a lot of fun to watch open- fun and open world car stuff. Feels like a prototype of Forza Horizon. Oh, 
Or like, you know, it, it walks so uh, Forza Horizon could run. Which I'd love to go back to uh, the last one and really see that one through. Okay, here, this is the... Uh... Okay, so this is the other mechanic that we were missing. We can become big. Car big. One second. Um, and yeah, it is the Ambigan, which I thought of that too. And oh, it's so cute. They like show the little flipbook animation. Okay. Okay. Honestly, could we beat this game today? Tiny how long does this take me? Eight levels? They were like maybe two minutes each. Okay, maybe not. But I could beat today, just probably not on stream because I don't know if I'm going to stream that long. Well, I know I'm going to like end around um, seven with a, a potential extension for a trophy hunt challenge if we hit our dailies. Uh, but let's jump into world two. I could finish this tonight though if I really wanted to. Oh yeah, I forgot too. I have um. Oh shoot. I feel like I'm living like very much like a middle school kid playing on the computer live with like jelly car worlds. I got me and my Welch's fruit snacks. All right, this is a freaking good industry. You're having a good time in this in this field. I'm not gonna front. Okay. Oh, look, it's all boofy. Okay. All right. I mean, should I have noise cancellation on? Because I feel like it's so easy if I'm eating anything. Yeah, I do have noise removal on. I don't know why that is. Yeah, and this is like the extra bit. There's this and a few other power-ups, but like the boofiness is so good. And then you like, oh yeah, so I forgot how this works, but you like have it, but it's limited. So you like press it to like get small again. Let me through. Do I have to get? No, no, no. That's not it. That's not it. Can I not just? Oh, there it goes. Okay, you just I just had to like get it at the right angle. Oh god. Oh no, I'm running out. I'm running out. If I mention it. Uh, but did you have a fun time? Yeah, I had a great time at the Game Awards. Uh, thanks for asking. Oh, gosh. Oh! Uh, yeah, it was super fun. Like, just, you know, different energy being actually in the room. And, and I've watched it for years. So, like, I always get such a kick out of um, seeing that kind of stuff live. Like, I was lucky enough to get to go to, like, Xbox's uh, E3 presentation in, like, uh, E3 2019. Which, like, now that I've been to one, like, it's fine if I don't go to any again. But, like, I just really wanted to, like, experience that at least once. Because, like, as a kid, like, I always dreamed of being in the audience when, like, they did those announcements. Um, this wasn't quite at that level of, like, lifelong dream type situation. Because I think I started watching Game Awards, you know, I was already much older at that time. Um, but, you know, you, like, see it. I, I would see people who I knew would go or people I looked up to that went. And it's just like, yeah, it'd be so cool to be there. Um, so getting to actually do it, it was like so awesome. Um, and it's hard to like, well, hard is relative, right? But it's, I, I feel like it's kind of challenging to get an invite. Obviously this one was open to the public, so I could have bought a ticket. But to get an invite is actual like press. I dropped one of my fruit snacks because I think you have to be voting, which like I would vote as part of kind of funny, but I, I wasn't staffed there and I'm not staffed there. Um, and then on my own, like, I'd love to, one day I'd love to get my own, like, my whole own set of votes. Like, I vote on behalf of Pen Pixels, Game Osses, whatever. Um, but I'm still, like, a, a little bit away from that, um, just in that it hasn't happened yet, right? So maybe I need more of, like, an independent, a 
need to be established more heavily on an independent basis, but. But uh, Oibring says, man, that was intense. Big Run is where the Salmon are invading a regular turf war map. But it's like dialed up to 11 and all the weapons are random with some special ones thrown in there. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. That's another one I have to finish. Um, Splatoon 3. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. It's jelly car, we're hurls. I messed up. Oh wait, no, there's a thing down here. Okay, there we go. Come on, there we go. Look, we're beauty, we are grace. Okay, drive, drive, drive. Okay. Sort of Pac-Man opening moment. Shoot, I don't know if I need those... the juice. Okay, we got it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I'm scared. Please. Yay! So I have to do uh, with Tamora while you were there, but we'll make sacrifices. Uh, yeah, it was cool. It was cool seeing Tamora, Lucy, like... Um, yeah, it was just a fun time. Definitely looking forward to also just getting, getting to know more people in the industry. Um, I have, you know, a, a set of people that I know through... Uh, yeah, games media appears kind of thing, mutuals on Twitter, but the industry is like made of so much more than just like who you think of for that stuff. So, um, yeah, right, let's go. Let's go. You're Jeff Closer. I did not. Um, this part is like so fun to me. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay, there we go, there we go. Go. And then we just... Oh, I kind of want the thing, though. I want the thing. I really don't need it for anything, I don't think. But uh, let's just... It's too much. I'd love to go get more someday. Yeah, I mean... I don't know if it's going to save into the public. Obviously, that's a way to go, but... I'm sure if you want to go outside of that, that can happen as well. Okay, here, come on. Please. No, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, here, here we go. Boom, boom. I think it's at a full refill each time. Oh, damn it. Come on. We have to stay big to, like, power through? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. It was just tough. Please just let me go through. Go. Go! Okay. Yeah! The game is so squishy. Yeah, it's it's Jelly Car Worlds. It's all about the jelly, you know? Alright, here we go. Okay, I did turn- I did uh, adjust the sound effect to music ratio just because I'm not a big fan of like... Whole, that homemade sound when it's like too loud. Oh god, no. I messed up. I messed up. Oh, well, we got rewarded for it. The question is, are y'all ready for this jelly? And I'm starting to wonder if that's the case. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, let's go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, if I'm being honest. Okay. I'm sure if we got something. Okay, let's see. I mean, they give us this ability. We must need to use it for something. But like, what's the perk of me, like, being giant for this? Do I need, like, oh! Oh! Now I see, now I see, now I see. Oh, 
that's cool. I think I can just push this like normal now. Yeah, yeah, I literally got it as you were saying it. Like, oh, oh, okay, okay. Please, please, okay, here we go. All right, we already know what's up here. Oh. Okay, okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. So it's gonna be... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, we're getting it, we're getting it. We're figuring it out. We're learning stuff. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. I don't know, like, why I need to do this, but I just know I do, you know what I mean? Oof. Okay, just trust. Trust! Okay. Oh god. Oh! Oh god, no, 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 We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. Oh gosh, come on. You just sense it, you know? There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, we just learned this, so I'm guessing... Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is like not even the level yet. This is just in between the level, okay. Kinda got humbled there, but that's fine. Um, okay, cute, little tutorialization. The bumps... I feel like I didn't use them that well, but that's okay. Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're freaking killing it. Are you joking? Alright, let's shoot. Never mind. I redact that statement. I rescind that statement of confidence. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, 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 we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We can figure stuff out. Oh god, no. Oh no, I got confused. Hold on. A crowd this needs to be real. <laughs> Maybe I take send the elevator up and then I like leave or something and then come back down. But then what's up what's up with this area? Am I supposed to go down this way? I think so. Let's do it, let's do it. Go. Oh. oh gosh, okay. Woo! Um Jelly truly peanut butter's best friend or is it chocolate and bananas uh this game's great oh it's it's awesome like i i mean that's why i like chose to like play it today because i'm like oh, okay it's coming out like you know we had the space for it i'm like absolutely and as has been pointed out of course it's not like most of the games i've played in the stream uh lately like i haven't done a lot of like indie stuff um but yeah i, I really genuinely really like the set packs i um had it as part of like my indie games to watch out for uh, when I did the indie game panel with um, I think it was me, Jenny hosted it, Cam Hawkins, Mary Kish. Like this was one that I was like, oh, this seems dope, and it is. I, I think it's really cool. Okay, let's see. Shoot, I can figure this out. Why is this so hard? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of my like fuel this way though too. Wait, I oh my gosh, I, I get it almost every time and then I like fall over. Yeah, Mary Kish had so much good stuff. Um, yes and no. So let me just look it up actually on this guy's TikTok. Cause he talked about like, is it new? Is it not? Like let me try to find him real fast. I don't know that it was I know I knew it as a um as a flash game. But maybe it was on um on mobile before I don't know. Let me see. Did he have okay? We have Impaled Jelly Car History. Okay, so what he had said. Yeah, hi. Although it's a brand new game I'm working on called Jelly Car Worlds, it all started actually back in 2008 when I made the first version of this idea, then just called 
Joey Carr. This was a pretty popular release on the early App Store. Ah, it was not the App Store, okay. The company I worked for at the time, Disney, ended up making two sequels. First, Joey Carr 2 in 2009, and then Joey Carr 3 in 2011. A lot of time has passed since then, and these games are no longer available on the stores, and I've since become an independent developer. And I am now making a brand new reimagining called Jelly Car World. Hit you with that reimagining, Switch, you know? Steam, and Apple Arcade, and it's all coming out next week. That's what it looks like. And then he just shows gameplay of it. Okay, so there we go. That's the information. Apologies for not having that totally down, because I should have anticipated that people might ask about it. Um, but it's one of those things where, like, I... I totally was like living under a rock when Jelly Car hit. Like I wasn't into a lot of those like, ah, uh, those early like mobile games that were like hitting the app store. Um, probably because I also I think was kind of late to having a phone that could do that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh my god, that was awful. F. That gets an F. Okay, let's try it again. Oh my gosh, why am I like I've lost it? I wasn't uh, either. I just remember it. Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely, you're not alone in in having that memory. Why can't I do this? Is it because I'm waiting too long? Like, am I hitting the back wheel? Okay, we got up here, but I can do that already. Yeah, it's it's like it has to be the the wheel that first comes in contact. It has to be the one that you like. There we go. There we go. It took us a second, but we got it. Like cube runner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take it back to a simpler time, but um, it's just so cute. I love like the squished animations and all that. Like, I also think it's pretty fun. Like, I really enjoy from a design perspective any game that can do get the most out of like the mechanics that it has. So even something like this, where it's like you have the car, the you know we call it the Embiggen, right? Um, having like a button there that like can make turn it into like something that can turn on an elevator is so smart and creative. All right, world two, let's go. Well, world two, level six. Ready to find the stop sign. Uh, this is a, a cute game to remember. Less stressful, chill time. Yeah, and it's it's still challenging. Like, as you can see, I definitely had some, uh, some struggles in that last one, but I feel like it's a, it provides a manageable challenge. Like, I think it's pretty, it's really well designed in its ability to teach you how to use the different abilities or what to do. Okay, here we go. Like, okay, that teaches me I can go over, like, um, what's the word? Not backwards movement, but, like, I can, like, push against, um, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't, I'm like, oh, it teaches you this stuff, but I'm like, how do I explain this? Okay, let's see. Conve yeah, conveyor belts, yeah, it's probably the, be the best way to describe it. Maybe we could... Oh. How am I gonna get stuck here? How am I gonna stay here, though? Wait, no, come back! Hold on, I have to get more of the the big car stuff. How am I gonna fit in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, I kind of figured. Oh nope, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. This one's tough. Okay, what if we did? What if we did? Oh, we got it. Oh, we f look. See, he fits perfectly. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my God! Please let me go. Let me go. Okay. Oh. Wait. Let me get, let me get some of the these old cubes. Okay. 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 Yeah. What's nice about like stuff like this too, um, even though obviously a lot of y'all know Jelly Car from the App Store, from its Flash game days, from like a bunch of stuff. Uh, do you see games? Do you see games like music, like a song for getting hype? A song? That's interesting. That's an interesting question. Um, <sighs> I don't. In the same way that. I, oh god, I went the wrong way. I'm going backwards. Um, not in the same way that I see music. So music, I'm, I'm definitely a lot more likely to maybe other, when I'm not just listening to an album like like this album just came out. Like I'm gonna listen to it, you know. When it's not just that, 
I might pick something for a mood or have like, oh, I listen to this stuff all the time and versus like other tracks. Uh, for games, I'm less likely to play something based on a mood, but mood definitely does factor in. So it's, for me, it's more like, what can my mood accommodate at the time? Um, and, you know, sometimes I definitely play when I'm not in the, I'm not always waiting to be in the mood to play a game because sometimes I just won't end up doing it. Like I'll just do nothing. Um, I feel like the only thing that I'm always in the mood for is like endlessly scrolling my phone. <laughs> But I like so many other things that aren't that, right? Like, you know, I like playing piano. I like running. I like doing all these things. I'm rarely in the mood to run when I go to run, you know? So for me, like the way I engage with my hobbies, I don't really wait for myself to be in the mood. I just kind of create space for me to engage with it uh, without also feeling like I'm literally forcing myself. Like if I really didn't want to play something, I, I wouldn't. But um, especially doing this job for work, like, I'm not necessarily always in the mood to game, and I, I, I like, don't wait to be in the mood to game to like do my reviews and stuff, for instance. Like, those have their own timelines. Um, so, yeah, I feel that's some truth there. Yeah, like, I don't really have... Like, sometimes I am in the mood for stuff. Like, I am trying to get more... Um, you know, I was talking to Isaiah about it, about, like, providing more space for, like, nothingness so that I can see what I end up wanting to do with that time when it's, like, a little less structured. Um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do with my weekends a little bit more, where it's going to be more free form, you know, but other stuff like, you know, like, like roller skating. I set up, I have lessons for that. The lessons are on a certain day, pretty much. I make it a week in advance. You know, I, there's no way to tell whether or not I'll be in the mood when the, when that day comes, but you know, I show up and, and I pretty much always have a good time. Um, yeah, but for games, it's a lot more about like, if I'm just playing for fun, you know, it's not for content. It's like, okay, well, what space am I in? You know, do I want to try something new? Do I want to go on like a trip? Do I want to finally get that platinum I've been wanting? Do I want to, you know, I think for um, Dragon Quest Treasures and Jelly Car Worlds, they both are like pretty chill games. Obviously, Dragon Quest is much more involved than Jelly Car in that like you read a lot in Dragon Quest um, and there's combat. So it's like a more um, antagonistic game in that sense. You know, there can be like, there is, the fail state comes a lot faster or a lot more in your face, I think, in something like Dragon Quest than this. I guess I gotta figure out how to do this. Speaking of fail state, like, how do I, how do I do this? I feel like I need to go around and get the white block. Um, but yeah, this is cool because it's like, oh, okay, there's, there's not really much in the way of text. I just kind of am exploring the world. And I think, you know, while this game may look like fairly simplistic, like, okay, like it's a chill thing and it, it is chill. I think they do so many smart things with design. Um, that make it so so I can have a chill time and not a frustrating time. I say as I struggle with this puzzle, but y'all know. I mean, maybe I okay. So I know I can get big to go up stuff like this, but what do I do here? Is it a matter of like doing this and then I have like a time frame or something? No, because it already goes. Do I have to drive up this one? I feel like I would need to drive up this tall one, maybe. Uh, you're talking about a jazz musician. In position, silence between notes, just in pouring the note itself. Yeah, for sure. Oh gosh, why can't I go up this? If anyone has any ideas at this point. Oh, okay. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so now what do I do with this information? Okay, I think I figured it out. I think I gotta push this back. And this will go down to, yep. Now I do think I need to walk down with it though. To push onto the button. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun little physics moment here. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, and now the stuff's gonna be reversed so I can just go back up this way. I'm trying to orient myself here, hold on. Whoop, there we go. Yeah, did just check Twitter, uh, you did great. Uh, leather coat looked good with the dress. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I wasn't I was uh, definitely a little hesitant about the leather jacket But I'm like I'm not buying another <laughs> I'm not buying another item <laughs> of clothing but Yeah, super fun. Hopefully I have um, You know with everything I do I'm like, okay, how can this be done better or more smoothly and um, Yeah, definitely like fingers crossed I'll like be able to like shop not the weekend before and kind of have my ideas planned out more and i'd like to buy a couple more formal things just for you know other people's weddings that are going to come up um oddly enough for ps i love you we get dressed up 
a lot for <laughs> what is a PlayStation podcast. <laughs> so I'd like to have a couple uh, outfits just to wear for that stuff too. Um, sometimes I do cheeky stuff on the stream too. Like I'll have, um, I forgot when I, I wore formal wear once on this stream, but I forgot what the theme was. I have no idea anymore, but usually I'm wearing like little, uh, I'll, I'll do like themed outfits or hats and things. Um, I've been in the habit of going to the gym. It's making me more of a, oh yeah, uh, Shanahue, I totally relate to that. Um, we're about to enter that full on gym era ourselves. It's been tough getting that first full week going. Like, uh, it was supposed to be this week, but then like game awards, like that morning of, I totally just forgot that the gym was a thing. And then for this morning, I'm like, look, it's gonna take so much out of me to do this that like, I'm not gonna do it today. Three weeks, congratulations. That's awesome. No easy feat for sure, uh, but we're, we're going, we did, uh, I think two days this week, which isn't that much, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, we're going to be doing like lifting and stuff at the gym. And, and there's like a million things I want to do fitness wise. That I think would be super fun. Um, oh, fun. See, like, look at, and I know it's like, I'm sure to other designers, the stuff just makes sense. But I just think like so many of these choices are like so smart and clever and cool and i really like like with this game i don't know what they're gonna throw at me next it kind of reminds me of box boy in that way um not quite as like intensive like from a puzzle perspective um but it has that like sim a simplicity that has like cool design like cool level design to support it um i was only going three days a week but getting access in different ways yeah that's a good way to like start and ramp it up um because very much the same you know i also have like a you know, the Apple Watch is not perfect, but it's kind of nice to have, um... I think I have to use this ball. To get a sense of, like, okay, how much am I even moving? Like, let me, let me remind myself to get up. Let me try to drink some water. Stuff like that. Oh my gosh. How do I do it? Okay. We can figure it out. Oh yeah, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is something, this is something, this is something. This is something. Screw that purple square, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. I think it's very- there's something very cute about, like, you don't die. You just, like, get smooshed. Oh, wait, what? Okay, now it's this way, this way. No, I did I did want the purple thing, though. If I could get it, I would have liked it. Um, I wonder if a game like this was an idea first or built around the entrance. I mean, honestly, like, I mean, I could also ask this and report back to y'all. Um, go to, uh, the Wallabear TikTok or Twitter. Uh, he'll probably answer you. Like, he's pretty... He seems pretty on it with like the social media stuff. I mean, that, that's how I knew this game was even coming out. Um, oh wait, wait. This is the wrong way. Where's door eight? So this is door seven. No, this is door eight. Oh no, this is door eight. No, I just did door eight. I'm going on to the next thing, which is down there. Trying to good vibes, dude. Good, great habits. Um. Okay, here we go. New ability. And look at how cute this is. Like, are you joking? Look at that. Look at that. Dun, dun. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's see. And then let me look at my calendar because literally last week I was like, I'll see you Tuesday. And then I had like eight things on Tuesday. Oh my gosh. Are we doing any? Uh, I think we're okay. Mm, what's going on here? Okay. Now I understand. Okay. So, um, winding down, uh, just cause we're in between worlds. So I think it's a good place to pause um again if we ever or for the next time we hit our uh dailies i'll do some trophy hunting uh, it'll be a fun way to kind of integrate uh trophies with my content because it's, it's like a fun thing to do and i'd love to do more of it uh down the line eventually i'd love to have just like a day dedicated to trophy hunting but you know one content vertical at a time um as for next week i Oh man, it's so tough because like <laughs> I've scheduled in here that I'm like, I really need to play more Yakuza Like a Dragon if I want to beat this game before the year is done. 
but then I also want to take time off. So it's like, oh, is this is next week the last week to do it. Maybe we'll just do a really long stream on Tuesday. We'll see. Again, I don't want to overextend. So I think for now, we'll just stick to Tuesday stream, 2 p.m. PT. We're going to be playing uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, Friday, we're going to do Best of 2022 watch at 3 p.m. I, I'm, I gotta look what's coming out. Cause there, well, y'all said little, I think Little Gator Game is gonna be out by then. So maybe we could do that or something. We'll have to go into the weeds a little bit to maybe find something. And that would be like the last best of, of the year, which would be exciting. Um, and uh, I haven't advertised it yet. I'm gonna start advertising next week, but we're gonna have a bonus marathon stream on Saturday. Um, me and Edwin, my brother Edwin, are going to be doing a marathon stream of Jack 2. Um, unlike our previous like long streams together, this is not going to be a subathon, though obviously like subs are always appreciated because it's part of how I make my money. But um, this is just going to be us streaming for hours. So like, you know, it's very like pressure free. We're hanging out. Uh, just a really long stream playing Jack 2. Um, I don't think we'd be able to beat it because it's a, it's a fairly long game. Uh, we're probably going to start around, I think 10 a.m. is the uh, current projected time. And it's gonna be awesome. You know, he hasn't been on the stream in a long time and this was his idea. He's like, I would love to do like a really long stream with you and like hang out and, and be with the community. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Obviously we're great, uh, big fans of Jack and Daxter. So that's gonna be uh, what we spend our time doing. Thanks to Figure Exercise has all the benefits. So I should give it a shot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, stick with it. Thanks for sharing your story on that. And uh, everyone, thanks for hanging out. This was really fun. I had a good time. I do feel like, uh, after yesterday, like my voice is starting to wane a little bit, but hey, that's what the weekend's for. We're going to relax, uh, chill, and be back again Tuesday, Yakuza at 2 p.m., Friday, uh, best of at 3 p.m., and as a bonus, Saturday next week at 10 a.m. Uh, please stick around because I am going to go ahead and one, um, do my close out, and then two, we're going to do our raid. Of course, y'all might have been rocking with me the whole time, and you might be a little tired, but stick around for the raid just to say hey before we head out. I want to give a thank you to my viewers, followers, subs, moderators, and of course, my sponsors over on Patreon. Uh, you too can join over on patreon.com slash gameonesis with rewards as low as $1 all the way up to the $25 tier. Like my sponsors who get a shout out after each and every one of my streams. I'm talking about Biscuits with Davey, Black Clumberjack, Edwin Garcia, Ian Dobbins, Kevin Fair, Nina McKee, Mick, aka The Nanobiologist, Platform Fanatic, Play Jason, Randleton, and Spencer Icassiano. Thank y'all so much for supporting my work over on Patreon. Uh, let's go ahead and do a raid over to Jess Adele, who is uh, a, I think, I want to say primarily, right? A Nintendo streamer. Uh, currently playing Mario Kart, uh, plus also made Fall Guys in a few, a few. They are celebrating hitting 7K followers to sh shout to them. Uh, they stream all the time and we raid them whenever we can. So today is one of those days. Jess Adele, go ahead and spam the tier 1 emotes if you have them and say raid on assists when you get there as we queue up that raid again. Just stick around to at least say hello. If you can stay for longer, that's gravy, but at least send some, some good energy their way as they continue doing their stream. Uh, and I'll see y'all here next time. Bye.